Well, yep, that happened. All right, guys, we're going to go over and we're going to make the ladybug armor. I think that's what we need. Yeah, we need to level up the, to the ladybug armor. We have the shield. Yeah, I think that's what we need to do. Ladybug armor. We need uh, berries and petals. Ramon, thank you for the lurk. I mean, Harissa, right? That is 100% true love. People never learn about <laughs> that. Yeah, exactly. India, find the food for it. Moo, we could. So when you're in China, I don't know if you've been Moo, but when we went, you couldn't just go out anywhere. Like you needed to provide. At least when we went, every time you went somewhere, like tracking information to the government, and we were we were at this like remote location, like in the Shuzhou region of China for this conference and there was like no way to easily get at pretty much anything out in that where out out where we were um and so yeah i just it was just it was just survive survive i think we need to build another chest by the way oh yeah we can do these Yeah, yo, yeah, we could not go grocery shopping. Like at, at least in that part of the the country, when we were in um, Beijing, we could go grocery shopping. But anywhere else, we were not. We could not go. This was circa twenty fifteen or sixteen. Lemon ginger tea. I mean, that would have been all good ideas, y'all. But oh, yeah, we could not like. Lita, Lita asked around, like, we need to go do these other th these things. And they are like, nope, you can't go. 2000, maybe they tightened it up? Possibly, Moo? I don't, Moo, again, I don't. Sir. Hi, Moonrise. Think it's safe now, Fiber. And Zedman is here too. Hello, looking cool, Zedman. The coolest looking Zed head on the planet. Zeddy, how's it going? And Moonrise too. How are y'all doing today? We are trying to continue this game grounded. Let's see how well we can end up going with this. Spider chunk. I'm making chest and putting stuff away because that's just what we're doing. Can't drink the original. <laughs> Steven the shark. Thank you for the hundred bitties. Thank you, Steven the shark. Thank you. Oh, that may well, maybe move the visa that we had to get was insane. Like it was, it was like a conference trip but then we we did a little time as a tourist as well and like even then we had to provide every single hotel where we were going to we needed to provide transportation Clans hit it! <gasps> transportation details between places like pre-booking taxis it was insane um your G, I do, Carlos. Is I do. G, -g, 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 -g unit, and then the other, then the Chappelle show dad was like, G -g 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 get your butt out of the house. I remember that. Guys, go follow looking cool Zedman, the coolest looking Zed head on the planet. We love Zedman here. Go drop him a follow. Write me out if you haven't already. Stephen Sharp, thank you for the gear one gives up to Big Booty Judy. Stephen Sharp, that is a piece of raw science. Thank you very much, Stephen Sharp, for that tier one gift sub and uh, your contribution of raw science to the beaker of raw science. Um, let's see. We've also got, yeah, monitor. Yep, exactly. Yep, exactly, DC. Uh, Moonrise, I've been better going to work back tomorrow, not feeling up to it. Oh, Moonrise, I feel you on that, madame. I hope, I hope we can make you smile a little bit extra today. I hope we can make you smile a little extra. Just chilling? How are you chilling, then? Tell me how you're chilling. Alright, 
on the map. I believe we had, where were the berries? I think it was, or not in this area. I think they're around here. Let's go over here. Together. Mama's a fan! The galaxy. Mama? Madame? Mama underscore Ezo underscore fan just subscribed for 12 months. Mama's fan, thank you for the tier one resub. For a year, Mama. A year, Madame. Thank you very much. That's another piece of raw science. To the beaker. For the month of February of the raw sciences we've been collecting. Tomorrow, I think, chat, we'll have our, um, our 3D printed robot to hold up the jar. If we fill up that beaker at the end of the month, we will do a raffle for a, a glow-in-the-dark DNA pin. Yes, custom made by us. In fact, even. Guys, lovely mom is a fan in the his is in the his house. Quilter extraordinaire. Please go follow our friend Mama in is a fan. We've also gonna get a shout out to the lovely Moonrise Rabbits as well. Because Moonrise is an amazing yes! soul. Erk 820! Why welcome the hack in Erk Raiders! Science stream, science stream, but we ain't bugging. We over here buffling. You be checking what we got. Now the tribes arrive. I promise that I have prescribed you vibes. The vibes we got are giants. Shout out to the stream for the raid. That's science. Raiders, welcome the heck in Urk820. Urk, how was your stream? What were you making and crafting? Tell me all the details. What kind of leather were you up to today? Welcome, welcome on in, everybody. Cynic Jester, hello, first time chatter, and thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. We've also got Real Doodabug, first time chatter. Doodabug, a doodle doodle. Lil Jimbro, welcome on in. Latigo Smith, hello. Urk820, Real Kako, welcome on in, everybody. How was the stream? Tell me how the details. Kales Bales! Hi, Kales, welcome in. LSB Twitch! Welcome on. Look at that beautiful heart emote. Is that a Texas heart? It does look like a Texas heart. And Little Jim. That's from Little Jim. Handmade by Little Jim. Look at that. Real Kaka. How are y'all doing today? How was the stream? I want to know the details. Uh, tell me all the things. And what can we share? What can we share from the Raiders? Erk, I would like to show off your stuff. Please feel free to share anything that you've been working on in the chat. Feel free to throw... Um, a link in on Instagram, images, all the things. I want to see what y'all have been up to. For the Raiders coming on in, Real Kekko, thank you for that follow. Welcome in. For the Raiders coming on in, my name is Valenta, one third of Science Streams. The other two thirds are my lovely wife, Lita, and our daughter, Baby Alona. We're a research scientist and we do interactive science streams here on Twitch. We both have our PhDs in molecular biology. Um, we got our PhDs using fruit flies as a model, so we did neuroscience, epigenetics, and more. Perfect, Erk, thank you. Um, we also, uh, I worked on ant epigenetics during my postdoc, and Lita worked on planarians and stem cells. We also have experience in bees and more. I'm gonna play all a quick channel trailer, then Erk, I'm gonna show off your Instagram and anything else that y'all you would like to show off. In the meantime, y'all, you're gonna wanna follow Erk. These are beautiful leather pieces here. Be right back, folks. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to Science Streams. If you are interested in all things science in a fun, wholesome environment, you are in the right place. Science is a unique husband and wife team of Belind and Lita who hold their PhDs in molecular and systems biology from Dartmouth. What can you find here? The science team is dedicated to making science more accessible to our entire community. They believe that it is the responsibility of scientists to engage with the general public, and Twitch is one of their media doing this. By showcasing their own research, highlighting new discoveries, answering viewer questions, and sharing their passion with you. We do a variety of interactive science streams, including microscopy of ancient amber with insects, 3D printing, art, science news and deep dives, the occasional game, and more. If you've ever wanted to have a fun space to nerd out, now is your chance. We stream daily science content here on Twitch. Understanding not just what we know, but how and why we know it is the essence of scientific knowledge. Check out the About page for more information. And consider hitting the Follow button to join our colony and our mission in science for all. So welcome the heck in, y'all. Thank you so much for coming in. Yes, if y'all love nerding out, you are in the right place. Tonight we're actually playing the game Grounded. I don't know how many of y'all have watched that. And hello, Risika. Um, 
the game grounded, you actually get shrunken down to the size of an insect and you have to survive, and we actually dissect the science behind it. So Thursday nights we play games and talk about the science in the games that are somewhat, you know, they're related to real biology. Um, we also do microscopy, science art, all the emotes and animations you see on stream were done by us, um, except like the dude command. It's science. Or that, that's actually me. Um, but yeah, we are in the right place if you want to nerd out. Welcome in. But before we... Before we nerd out on ants, we're going to nerd out on this beautiful leather crafting. Y'all, this is so freaking gorgeous. Uh, this is what Urk was working on. All right, and these... Um, it's all Gucci. It's pretty Gucci. Handle cover for cast iron skillets. Okay, y'all, For the Instagram link is pinned, so go check it out. Look at these absolutely beautiful right like look at how cool these look like first of all i love leather working like i think they're just so freaking cool to see and like i don't know about y'all but like a really good leather piece like i think the smell is also really nice like there's just something about it these look really cool and they with the colors too i bet they would probably be like an absolute treat just like they like smell really authentic and just really beautiful um yeah on cast iron skillets which would be uh, lovely to have right Real, yes, right, Irk? Thank you. Thank you. Real, yeah. I, it's not, right? It's not just me. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I just think it's like such a... It reminds me also of my grandfather when I was a little kid. Growing up in Hungary, he had some like off, like a lot of authentic leather that his family and him throughout the you know lineage had made. And so in his little summer house near a lake in Hungary... Um, he had all this like the house smelt of like real leather it was really cool to have that paper and you that's a good one too womp womp walking to wilson's leather mall just taking a deep yes moonrise oh my goodness speaking of uh deep whiffs y'all also uh if you like smelling hats go follow our friend queen kells bells she's on her partner push she's another maker and crafter extraordinaire if y'all don't know yet each other please meet each other there she is breathtaking she's live in the mornings and is uh, closing in on that partner status. Please go follow the lovely, amazing Queen Kells Bells, who will be soon making a custom Antonia of, um, with like a fish hat and a blue, out a purple outfit, and all the things. No worries, Harrison. No worries. Yeah, cynic gesture, and they're just beautiful pieces. Like they're so pretty. Also, like um, the variety on these. Look at that. Kells, you tell me you've never smelt the fish hat. Kells Bells, how dare you suggest that, Kells? We've also, I remember these. Um, these I had seen a while ago, but beautiful again, like flags made out of the leather, too. And I think this is, in, yeah, this is in like a custom acrylic case. Beautiful work. Now, um, Irk, if anyone wants to get in contact with you for custom pieces, DMs are the easiest way, Irk, I imagine. So freaking cool. Lasered projects. DMs, nice. Urk, is there anything else you would like to share? There's no pressure at all. We just love showing off whenever we have our Raider friends come in, what they are working on, whether it be games or art or whatever, anything in between. Um, you know, a raid is an endorsement of you from you to on our community, and we love to make sure to you know, reciprocate that with showing off all your stuff and getting everyone in the colony over to you. Um, Irk, thank you again for the raid. I really appreciate it. Again, anything else you want to share? Please feel free to throw it in chat. We'll take a take a look. Uh, before we get back to the game, folks, we also have another celebrity in the his house. Thank you for streaking, Lara Gale. 25 stream watch streaking. Lara Gale, remember, on Saturday, we're probably going to have a pop-up stream where we're going fossil hunting in the afternoon. Uh early-ish afternoon hopefully so don't don't miss that for the streaking don't miss that for the streaking um speaking of uwu we also have a besto friendo in the his house his name is irish john no 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 eric it's not a derail it is not a derail mm, not at all eric it is amazing to be able to be here and show off your work but also chat we literally irish john games in the his house. irish john Yes, we fossil hunt cynic uh, gesture. It's, it, it was weather dependent, honestly. It's finally going to be warm enough for us to go. 
Guys, please go follow Irish John Games. Oh, in a minute and 11 seconds, I can give him a shout out. Please go follow him and wishlist the game Rise of Piracy. This is Irish John's game. It's a one man game dev team. Irish John made this entire game on his desktop computer. Jern loves the Uwu. It's available for wishlist on the Steam store. Wishlists are not any kind of expense and they help the game developer a ton because it get, provides visibility. So if y'all have not wishlisted Rise of Piracy, please consider wishlisting. The music was actually conducted by Irish John as well in his acoustically perfect bathroom. It's an Irish tradition. So please wishlist it, support our friend John. You can actually even name a pirate, ship, island, or treasure in the game if you save up enough channel points in this stream. They're not even that expensive. Wait, fine. Does this look hairless? <laughs> yeah. Wishlist it or a fair will cry. Actually, Sparky, if you don't wishlist it, and follow Irish John. Sparky, I've been told that the moon people will come into your house and glue, put glue in your shoes. So when you get up in the morning to go to your day job and you put on your socks and you put on your shoes, the glue actually, you know, glues to your, from your sock to your foot, to the shoe, and then you can't take your shoes off. And then you permanently have to work forever. And it's a fate worse than death because you know you wake up in life and you're like people are like hey what do you want to be when you grow up or what do you want your to what do you, what do you want to work forever and and you might be like I don't dream of working forever I dream of maybe creating things but not as like a forever job and then now you have your shoes glued to you forever which means you can't leave your workplace and your life is destroyed do you really want that to happen absolutely not go wish the rise of piracy and you don't, you don't pass by it's fine um, is there a boating with both ways Gers Gers hi. I think there is. Actually, I, I'm pretty sure there is a Bodie McBoat face. Gers, there is, like... I think there's, like, a Captain Pumpernickel bread. Like, it, there have been... People get very loosey-goosey with their names. There's also, Gers, a, a redeem for 20,000 channel points on Jurant's stream. That if you pick that redeem, everyone who's there at, on the stream at that time can name something. And so, obviously, people will then come up and be like, I want a Captain Alaviva or something. For a long time, Gers, I was just saving channel points to name captains or ships after our friends. And then I <laughs> I ran out of the regulars and then I started saving up for VIP. And VIP cost 400,000 channel points there. I was very proud to have that achievement. Very proud. And now, you know, you, you'd assume that I'd be like, oh, now I'm just going to go ahead and like start using the other redemptions that Jern has, but now I'm nervous that he might take away my VIP one day. So instead, I'm just like, all right, I'll just go ahead and just uh, just keep doing all the extra things. Also, guys, move, go follow Moonrise Rabbit. Moonrise had a stressful day today, and uh, follows make stress go away. So please follow our friend Moonrise. Hello, Andrea, no art. There's the Dancing Queen is here. We, uh, also, we have uh, to hang out with... Um, so shout out Supernatural Writer and Andrea. Andrea does dancing, singing, songwriting, and arts on her stream. Focus! Uh, sometimes. Supernatural Writer does it all as well. So go check both. Shout out both of those amazing oh, people. Science. Little Jimbro, thank you for the follow. So again, for all the new people coming on in, I'm an insect geneticist, and we're playing this game There's grounded. Not very well. You know, I will say that. I'm very much still learning the ins and outs of this game but and by learning ins and outs we're actually trying to get um like upgrade our armor so we can go to new areas because i'm that less than ideal at this game which is gonna be fine like we're gonna we're gonna get better at this we're gonna get better. your girl why welcome the hack in your girl Raiders! Science stream, science stream, but we ain't bugging. We over here buckling. You be checking what we got. Now the tribes arrive. I promise that I have prescribed you vibes. The vibes we got are giants. Shout out to the stream for the raid. That's science. Raiders! Welcome to Hack In Queen Yogurt Girl. Yogurt, how was the stream? How was the rest of Katamari? Yogurt, tell me. 
tell me how the rest was Katabari. Pilates class? Is that the dancing class that you have, Andrea? That you, It's like the butt wiggle class? Is that what the Pilates is when you wiggle your butt? I think, I think, I think I've heard of that. Yogurt, how was the rest of the stream, madame? Guys, if you don't know Yogurt Girl, she is, in fact, a supermodel across the country of Canada. From Saskatchewan to Quebec and Montreal and more. Uh, she has billboards, and it is really, really incredible. I'll show you all one on the, the main page. Um, let's see, what else with Queen Yogurt? We've also got Professor Astro Canuck in the his house. We have Irish John coming. We have G Monkey 76. Welcome the heck in, y'all. Got nauseous. No! It's a lot. It's yogurt. I played it on the PS2. Um, and it was it was an absolute hoot and a half. I really, really enjoyed that game. Um, Lena actually introduced me to Katamari. We tried on the Nintendo Switch with the remaster, but it also made Lita nauseous. So I feel you on the uh, the, the nausea factor. But guys, Yoga Girl, like I said, supermodel in the country Canada. Uh, and the United States. I mean, she's been to the U.S. too to do uh, like special photo shoots. Uh, she has a new green screen that she put up on the back of her couch today. So you can have her see, see that she sits on beans sometimes. Uh, she also is a professional retro player like tetris 99 and more spooky games occasionally as well and katamari hi hogan welcome back hogan so guys please go follow the lovely yogurt girl uh yogurt we were just talking with andrea no art about how um she's gonna be doing a butt dancing class tomorrow it's this thing called pilates and the pilates makes you have buns of steel i'm told for the Raiders coming on in with Yoga Garo. My name is Belint, one third of Science Streams. My god, Professor Canuck, that is hilarious. Um, one third of Science Streams, the other two thirds are my well lovely wife, Lita, and our daughter, Baby Alona. Lita and I are research scientists, our PhDs in molecular biology, and we do interactive science streams here on Twitch every day of the week for microscopy art, sci fi science, science news of the week, deep dive scientific topics, games, 3D printing, IRL streams, model building, and more. Raiders. Welcome the heck in. It's great to have y'all here. Thank you again for joining us tonight. I hope all was well. And uh, we've got a lot of legends in the His House here, including but not limited to the amazing Professor Canuck, too. Professor Astro Canuck. Uh, Yogurt, if there's anything you'd like to share, you know the drill, ma'am. Drop it in the chat and we will share it. We are playing or attempting to play Grounded. And we are currently in the midst of hunting for resources. Why? You might be like, well, because I'm too underpowered to survive anywhere else. Um, so I need to make, like, extra armor and other things. Absolutely, yes, please, please, please share it. Or actually... I believe I can find it, Yogurt. Where you don't have to do anything. Yogurt gets the uh, the red carpet here. Y'all, yo, yo, I've known Yogurt Garrel since before I ran a day. Here we go. I got it. Chat. Yogurt Garrel is having her 500 followers celebration stream Saturday, February 17th, and Sunday, February 18th, from noon until three in the morning both days yes that's what the question mark actually means why is there a question mark there because it didn't have room to say 3 a.m it's going to be eastern standard time eastern standard time uh there is a secret cosplay that's going to be unlocked if she hits her sub goal she's going to be building this ariel lego so please if you haven't already followed her go drop her a follow right meow and get her to 600 before it's time for the 500 follower celebration stream that's just a good way of doing it. 19, yes, 19 subs for her goal, yes. And if we can get her to 600, I'm told, chap, that she will even put on a different style hairdo for this uh, celebration. Boy, with that I mean, not going to be like the flowing hair that you see in this image, but it's going to be like a different style of hairdo, okay? A hair, a type of hairdo that you've never seen Yoga Girl do, but people have done in the past. So it is not a new terror due to the world, but new to Yoga Geralt. So if we can get her to 600 before that date, there will be a brand new hairstyle that she will debut live on stream. Or if we ask nicely, she may have even do it on stream to like make the hairdo happen. Yoga Geralt, can you confirm this? 
I hope you can confer this Queen Yogurt. You know, you can confirm this as someone who's out of this world, and that's Professor Astro Canuck. Now, uh, he is an amazing astrophotographer, graphic artist, published author. In fact, you can buy his book, Beetle Blues, right there. Two for the price of two in that Amazon link. Two books for the price of two. You don't get a better deal on that anywhere else on Twitch. You can use the promo code hashtag Astro during checkout to get two for the price of two. Professor Canuck, we love your face. And uh, Yogurt, thank you very much for the raid, madame. Anything else that we can share? Please, please, please tell me. And we'll show it off to the party people. He naps again from kindergarten again. Like, I I know. Uh, Womp, well, it's Womp, actually. You get naps when you're that young because it's very important to development. If you don't get uh, sufficient naps, your, your body can break down and you don't get a development on that front. So it's very important to do. Oh, there's a Valentine's Day special for the book. Uh, buy four copies of it. Oh, there you go, guys. Four, and you get Undying Love. Explain to the strength to size formula for a shrunken person. So, Cynic, does that is that referring to the the concept of like the small ant and how it can lift something so so large relative to its size? I don't know about in people, but I, oh, so in people it wouldn't work. Um, the reason it, it works in insects is because of a hydraulic system. Um, that there is like essentially the animals fill with water, and it's like a pressure system. And so when they're lifting something, it's not lifting with joints. It's just like a hydraulic system that it has within their bodies, and that's what allows them to have lift. There's even this study cynic that we had. So on Fridays we do science news of the week. There was one. It was a misleading title, I think, because it was talking about. Um, Oh gosh, how's the 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 phrasing was kind of crazy. The, um, it was talking about undead spiders and like robotic undead spiders was the title of the the news article. But if you looked at the actual paper, all they did was they took like a syringe and put it into the body of a dead spider. And if you could, you can have pressurize that body. You can have the dead spider lift things. And it like really demonstrated that it was a hydraulic system that allowed the animal to be lifting things versus like any musculature. So if you got shrunk and down to the size of an insect, you wouldn't have any extra super strength uh, because your body type wouldn't be on a hydraulic system. You'd still have muscles and bones and you'd be proportionately as strong as you are now. You would not be able to go up against an insect. Does that make sense? And again, it varies based on the insect. There's some good drink? ones. Whoa, oh, Womp, thank you. What drink? Womp, thank you. Oh. Another hydrate. Womp, what's up? My drink? My diet, Dr. Kelp? Don't tell me you forgot my drink! Yeah, we also have Supernatural Writer in the his house. You guys, go check out the lovely Supernatural Writer. Super, I hope you had a lovely day today. Oh, yes, Rat Finky was wondering about the $75 rats a day. Um, so, Rat Finky, the reason the prices of those are so high is because of the animal care facilities. So, when you have... So, what we were talking about yesterday, y'all, is this... The pricing for keeping alive rats and or mice in a research laboratory. So, Rat Finky, when you have rats in your lab, they're not just in your lab. They are in a component of the building like um it's the best way of saying this they are in a separate room of the building called the animal care facility and why that's important is because that room is temperature controlled light dark controlled there is a, sim a same person that's taking care of them all the time so there's like consistency in care so per animal you're not just paying for that one animal's survival. You're paying for that entire room's upkeep, essentially. And the staff person who takes care of them. So the researcher whose lab it is, isn't going to be the one who's taking care of the animals in that room. But rather, there's going to be a paid person to take care of them. Does that make sense? Hi, little ant. So for those coming on in, this ant... Oh! I don't... 
first of all, that ant would not do that. It leapt out of the room. Gwen of the P! I love you, Gwen. Um, that's supposed to be a red fire ant. And it is not correctly, um, the morphology and body structure is not correct. Yeah, it's actually, uh, it's missing some body, body segments. So yeah, Rat Finky, let me show you what a, a rat room looks like. The jumping, I mean, listen, Spartacus, there are jumping ants. That's not one of them, though. Let me show you Rat Finky. This is what you might have, Rat Finky. Well, so, but Gwen, like, that's the point, right? Like, yes, we're playing a game, we're having fun playing it, but I want to be able to dissect what's correct in the science in the game versus, like, what's a little bit like a stretch. And I will say, Gwen, they did a, a really good job. Like, they, like, it's pretty accurate in this game, all things speaking. But it's still, like, there's, there's some factors that are less than ideal, I should say. Um, but, yeah, so, Rat Finky, like, this is what the facility might look like. Not every time are there um, people suited up like this. But there's like, it's different like reasons for having them. So there are germ-free facilities like this. Harissa, I hope you sleep well, Harissa. There are mice, rat, finky, and rats that you can like breed that are immune compromised and the idea of having those is testing for disease states that require an immune compromised animal so for that you need to actually have very special housing facilities otherwise the animal might get sick and you wouldn't be able to to learn anything right from it um but like here is a regular one so you, here you have the mice in these cages they have this feeding chamber here on the other side they have the water coming in and so it's like taking out um you know changing out their food changing out their water these shavings making sure it's not too dense so there's like all this extra stuff going into it rat finky in terms of the care of the animals and then you're paying like so that's the housing unit for them if you have it something like this where they're immune compromised it's even more of a price and then you're paying for the people who are taking care of them so it's it it does add up quickly does that make sense kind of rat finky of why so many the volume messed up all my devices are still saying that we're good i didn't click anything Oh, thank you, Spartacus. Thank you, Spartacus. It's because Andrea was dancing too much, chat. Andrea's getting ready for her booty dancing class in the morning. Chat, did you know that Andrea's taking a booty dancing class? I tell you. I tell you, chat, what some people do on this, this, this Twitch platform about doing this booty dancing. I know, right, Gwen? <laughs> Andrea's like, it's not booty dancing, except it is. It's okay, Andrea. There we go. Uh, the reason, y'all, I was taking out the ladybug is because we will need that for some armor. So we're trying to craft these chest plates. We need flower petals and berries. We could also probably eat something. Uh, let's see. Here we go. And then what else was I thinking? Oh, maybe we can craft. Oh, no, I can't craft that, but it's fine. Hi, Medibs. Welcome in. Medibs, how's it going?
All right, so there should be the petals around here. There's the roses. If anything, I would do to redeem the community, boyfriend boots dance. Your boyfriend's gonna dance with his boots on? That's crazy, Andrea. That's crazy. You have to take your shoes off when you dance. Everyone knows this. One time someone tried dancing with... Actually, Andrea, if Zedman is still here, Looking Cool Zedman did a dance with his socks on. And Andrea, that was crazy. You can't dance with socks on. You'll slip. It's not safe. Yeah. Hi. What do you think, Gwen? Gwen, any guesses? I've never seen a streamer watching the character. Med Dibs, is that good? Zeddy's gonna booty dance? He should. He should booty dance. This little one, I tell you, Gwen. This kitty cat all day sits with me in this room as I'm working away. She's just on the chair, on her little... She's got a little blanket station on her chair. She needs the blankets, Gwen. This whole station, she has to have multiple blankets to make it extra soft. I wonder if maybe she's got, like, some joint pains occasionally. Um, and then she just, like, sleeps here. And no, when we do that, the door is closed, Gwen. She just stays in here because the other cats aren't allowed in here. And then she comes over in my lap for, like, ten minutes, like, every hour, hour and a half. Has me Wants some pats. And then she goes back to her spot. She is interacting, well, except with Noodle. She and Noodle saw each other for the first time yesterday on accident. And Gwen, neither were pleased. Neither were pleased about that. Um, but then after, you know, like the other one she's okay with. She's okay with the other cats. She doesn't like them, per se, but she, like, tolerates them. Oh no. I just came here to collect flower petals. Yeah, Rat Finky, she um was Lita's mom's cat. But Lita's mom couldn't take care of her anymore. And so we brought her home primarily because I'm a sucker. And whenever we I would go over to Lita's mom's, if I disappeared. It was a safe bet that I was going to be with Socks. Because she is just such a sweet cat that I would just go find her and pet her. Because she would just sit on my arm and just want pets. That's all she would want. And I was like, what? How deprived are you, little kitty cat, that all you want is snuggles? Yeah, yeah, Gwen. So actually... When Lita's mom moved in to her current place, there's, like, a little barn there. And there were, like, I think four cats in the barn. Just there, Gwen. And I don't know if it was from the previous owners just abandoned them there or what the situation is or was. But, yeah, they just, there were just cats there. And, you know, Lita is extremely sweet, so she would take care of these cats. And, like, so would Lita, like, Lita's mom put out cat litter and would feed them and made sure they were, you know, had what they needed for, like, life, even though they were outdoor cats. And then, I know socks started looking, like, not so good. Oh, she wants back out. You want back out, little one? She wasn't looking too hot, and so Lita caught her and took her to the vet, um, or, I, or something like had a vet visit, something like that, and then ended up being like, oh, she was kind of sick, so then, you know, Lita's mom took her in, because, you know, Lita was like, well, this, she was, she was so sweet to begin with, Gwen, that we all had a suspicion How many aphids is that? that she might have already been someone's pet. And she was uh, just, like, let loose. Because, like, 
from the very beginning, she was very snuggly and kind, right? Like, wanting to hang out with others. And so we were just like, well, something's off here. She was probably, like, again, just let loose. Um, so all of our hearts melted. So then, you know, Lita's mom took her in, and then she couldn't take care of her anymore. And it was like, well, should we home her somewhere else? And I was like, oh, God. We already have so many cats. But, like, this is why I'm not allowed in, like, the, uh, the animal part of the, um... pet shop because I would just abandon like I'd want all of them but yeah then I was just like well I like socks too much so bring her home yeah the other barn cats bullied her there would be there Gwen there were like obvious marks and cuts on her and so then it was like another reason that she was brought in I we think though that Lita's mom still has two cats we think that those maybe those two cats were also a little bit of bullies to her because she is like very she's getting better but she had when she came home for the first time here she was seemed like scared here we go and so now it's like she's kind of coming into her own and not not scared we got a milk molar let's go uh, my grandma used to live on a farm and had a couple of barn cats. Whenever she'd visit, I was playing outside, and my mom wanted me. She'd go to the cats and hang out at place. We guarantee. In dreams, I feel on that rap thing. Andrea! What does that mean? Come. Andrea, no art. Sleep well. I hope your butt dancing class goes well tomorrow. Um, let us know how it goes. Along with all your singing songwriting dancing drawing just everything there's a cat anywhere that has a bar that's where you can probably find yogurt when you come visit us you will not have a you know anywhere like you'll be fine you'll be fine guys we got one of the milk molars um so we just unlocked that and let me see where it actually ended up hitting I know this is something that we should be collecting, but I cannot remember for the life of me where it actually ends up going. Phoenix Ash, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. We had, because I know this is something we're supposed to be collecting, these milk molars, and they're, um, hi Phoenix Ash, how's it going? Welcome in. We're supposed to be collecting these pieces, and they do something. I can't remember if there's there's a golden one and there's regular, and they like upgrade our stats. I'm so Phoenix. I'm doing well. Um, I'm a insect scientist. My PhD is in molecular biology. I worked on fruit flies, ants, and more. Um, and today we're playing grounded. Continuing our first playthrough and talking about the science behind the game. I'm also, uh, you know, we're trying to not die. It's a challenge. I'm, I need to level up the armor. Uh, we're actually aiming for getting the, uh, the ladybug armor. Which is, uh, I think, a really nice... Like, it makes sense to get that kind of armor to be built. Like, that's a really good exoskeleton. I do like the ant exoskeleton that we have, but again, I'm a little bit biased on that because I worked with the animals. I do think that it makes sense that ladybug or beetle armor is stronger because it is like adapting from the outside shell of the animal that's covering the wings and not where they're breathing. So it should be a stronger armor than what we have now. And we're in search right now of berries. We needed flower petals. We got those, and now we're looking for some berries. I know there's some on the other side of the the map, but I was kind of hoping that maybe we can get some uh, from this side. Bye, Andrea. Have a good butt dancing class. G stream. Oh, and Pizza Pizza Princess G. And Phoenix Ash. Too. Yes, we love Pizza Princess G here. Um, Phoenix, so we do science content here. 
Uh, so we stream seven days a week. We do microscopy, so looking under the microscope at tiny worlds on Mondays, including 30 million year old insects preserved in amber, a la Jurassic Park. Um, we do two days of art streams, so all the animations, emotes you see are homemade, made in-house. Uh, we do model building on Tuesdays. Uh, Thursdays are our game nights, so we're playing Grounded and talking about the science behind the game. Fridays, we do science news of the week. And Saturday, we do science deep dives or random science grab bags. And my wife and I run the stream together. Uh, so most of the days, you know, the two of us will be together on stream. There's some days where it's just me, and there's Saturdays where it's just her. We also do, like, this Saturday we'll be having a live fossil hunt dig. So we are going to go to uh, a place. We're in New Jersey, a little bit away from us, where we can do um, fossil collecting in for late, late Cretaceous. By shark teeth, limitations. What does that mean? Come. Which will be a lot of fun to be able to do. So that's that's our that's our shtick here. Welcome the heck in. Ratfinky, sleep well, Ratfinky. We love you, Ratfinky. Beyond all reason. In fact, Rat Finky, we love you. Yes, uh, this weekend there'll be more IRL and then yogurt. I don't know if you've heard. We're gonna be um, see blueberries are only in the hedge, or there is a small bush northeast beyond the pond. Okay, so I need to go back to the hedge. Thank you, Turgus. Tadagos, this is why I'm glad you know. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're here for many different reasons, but I, I need someone to oh, teach me. Crap! Poison! <laughs> So dead. So dead. Um, yogurt in May. We're going to be doing, uh, going down to, um, gosh, what is it? Florida and Georgia. And we'll be doing some IRL streams from there, too. They are not real tonight, Harissa. Not yet. Fr uh, Friday, Monday, long days. No worries at all, Phoenix. I feel you on that. We work, I work three jobs, so. It's, uh, I 100% understand. It's, it, it can be very hard to catch streams and actually a lot of different things, right? There's our ant again. No, 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 Harissa, we have that off. Don't worry. Let me see. I don't, let me double check and make sure we still got the molar. Yes, so we do have that ant. We do have Gwen. Upgraded weapons. We just need to get our upgraded uh, armor now. We just and I think we only need the the berries. But as Turgus says, we need to go. I Alex, it got dark and I got stupid. Manager of pizzeria. Oh, nice Phoenix. Heck yeah. I Phoenix. I love pizza. I love pizza so much. Alex, you're right. <laughs> Alex did come back as soon as I died. <laughs> Turgus, with the um, milk molars, I know this is silly. Do I, when I collect it, where does it go? I have totally. It's because it's been so long. That IT guy, Matt. Matt, welcome the heck back to Twitch, my friend. Raiders. Science stream, science stream, but we ain't bugging. We over here bugging. Ow, her jack. Well, we got now the tribes arrive. I promise that I have prescribed you vibes. The vibes we got are giants. Shout out to the stream for the raid. That's science. Raiders, welcome the heck in that IT guy, Matt. Welcome back to Twitch, my friend. It's been a, it's been a minute and a half. How was your stream? Tell us all the things, uh, guys. That IT guy, Matt, we knew from forever and a year ago essentially near near the beginning of our time on twitch how is the jackbox party games uh how are you doing how is the family welcome the heck in my friend please tell us how the stream was and if there's anything that we can share with the party people at the field stage okay cool thank you excellent Sturgis. excellent for the raiders coming on in my name is valent one third of science streams the other two thirds are my lovely wife Lita and our daughter Baby Ilona, who's now past one year old. Mike, or my yeah, past a year old, Matt. Uh, we're research scientists and we do interactive science streams here on Twitch every day of the week from microscopy, art, sci-fi, science, science news of the week, deep dives into scientific topics, games, 3D printing, IRL streams, model building, and more. Raiders, welcome the heck in tonight, Matt. We're playing Grounded. 
our first playthrough from the perspective of be of an insect scientist. Um, so welcome the heck in. Matt, if there's anything you'd like to share, you know the drill. Drop it in the chat. And we'll share it with the party people. Uh, I miss being on Twitch. We missed having you, Matt. Welcome back. Olus turns 14 tomorrow. Tadagus! Do you have any big plans? Are there big plans, Turgus? Alright, we need to go over to the hedge now, chat. Am I pleased about this? No. But we're going to go over here. And we're going to get these berry bits. We need berry leather for our armor. Jaded Fairy, big game. Thank you for contributing to the community emote goal. A bunch of his friends play League of Legends and play video games all night. So, Turgus, does that mean... Are you providing pizza and soda and chips and other kinds of cool items? I... I don't know. My... <laughs> my parents never wanted us to like have a lot of people over at once it was like you can have like your one person over and there wasn't anything further added as it were you know hi pandarius welcome back how's it going pandarius we're just trying to survive this game yes so we're playing grounded pandarius which is um you get shrunken down to the size of an insect. You're trying to survive. Trying to figure out what happened. Uh, there's a lot of survival elements to it, which is kind of neat. Uh, you have to drink water, eat food, and then also trying to um, figure out why we got shrunken down. We also, we're playing it in the sense of trying to learn about what is the correct biology behind the game. So what has been gotten right, what has been gotten wrong, uh, and well, everything in between. Uh, there are some models of the insects that are incorrect, and so we're, we learn about that. And yeah, it's actually it's it's a lot of fun to play it. I think we're going to do tacos and nachos this time. We usually do pizza when they're over. Nice. So Turgus, because I never had a taco party, is it just going to be like a mass of dishes put out of deliciousness? And just like like a, a, a perma taco station throughout the night, Matt. Listen, I, IT guy Matt. I had a I had one big birthday party, Matt, in fourth grade. It was a pool party, and my mom got us pizzas and all these things, and I invited all these people, Matt. And I have all the people that came like invited Matt. Like four people show up, four people. So. Man, I never had a birthday party again. Guys, you know who does have a birthday party is Big Gaming. Go follow Big Gaming. Legendary Mastali, who will show you the best of the birthday parties. I imagine if Bit Gaming put on birthday parties for his kiddos, they would be like the most powerful birthday parties ever. It is. It is. It's the it's it's the Ides of March Big Gaming. Not even on the fifteenth, but it's still. Fun. This is Corn Relish's favorite insect. Because of the Lucibufagens. Why am I fighting these random insects, y'all? You might be wondering. They give us resources that we've been needing. And some of them, you know, are like night specific animals. And it's just, uh, now that our weapons are good enough to take some of them out, I'm just collecting some potential resources. We might not need them yet, but you never know. There we go. Look at that. 
We're getting so much better with our weapons. I don't know if Coffee Rox is here, but I hope Coffee Rox will be, uh... Hun... Oh, y'all. Queen Yogurt has just hit a 100 stream watch streak. That's definitely a... <laughs> Yogurt, thank you for hitting a 100 stream watch streak. Madame, you are Grammy Science Street Games. Clearly, the record holder. Thank you, Queen Yogurt, for that insane amount of support. You are powerful, incredible, and breathtaking. Thank you very much. He hasn't had a real birthday party since he was six. We got stuff to make nachos because what he wanted. Uh, he has one friend that said he doesn't like nachos. But likes tacos. We're gonna go shower. Turgus, you're such a good parent. You're like, well, there's this little twerp that doesn't like what we're gonna be providing. That's gratis. And, um, so we're just making something extra special. Hats off to you, Turgus. Hats off to you. Uh, we won't mention how often I fall asleep. I don't know what you're talking about, Yogurt. You never fall asleep. Speaking of birthdays, is it today or yesterday? Wait, Jern, is it today as in your today where you're tomorrow? Or is, it, or is it yesterday as in my today? That is Seth Siam's birthday. Sammy's got some great music, Jern. It was my today. Guys, go follow Sammy. Uh, follows counting twice on birthdays. Shells in the air fryer. Turgus, you're such an amazing guy. God. Guys, you know Turgus streams, right? He's been working on brand new emotes. And this high emote? Irish John, you're gonna love Turgus's high emote. Like, Jern, you're gonna love it so much. You're not gonna see it. You're gonna be like, there's no high emote here because well, it's a bear. But if there were a high emote, John, it would be quality stuff. You know? But unfortunately, there's just none there. I was like, I, yeah, I'm sorry. I had, like, another, like, silly meeting. Turgus, I was playing uh, tax lawyer and uh, accountant again today. <sighs> Turgus, Turgus, Turgus. I try, that's, yeah, exactly, Jern. That happens a lot. Same thing happens, Jern, when I, um... When Gwen puts in, like, these certain emotes from certain streamers, it just shows up as black squares for me. And I try to tell her. I'm like, look, I can't see what you're using. But she still tries to insist that she has, like, these emotes here. Yeah, exactly. Like, the Zeddies. And then there's other ones, too, Yogurt, where I'm just like... A neat black square. I don't know what it is, but... I'm sure it's cute. The walking past emote John throws me every time because I'm like, did nothing? Was nothing actually sent? And no, something was. It's just, it's just sneaky. A water flea, excellent. See, John, the number of times I've thought that Twitch was broken with your emote. Because of that pause, I'm just like, oh, what have I done to Twitch? Like, I'm beyond mobile. I'm like, oh, there's no emote. That's so weird. I must have done something. No, no, no. It's just the it's just the walk by emote. It's just the walk by emote. I'm like, dang it, Jern! You're so powerful, Jern. You're so powerful, guys. Please, please, please go follow our friend Tadagus. if you have not already. Tadagus is returning to stream very soon, and he's got some really, really cool emotes on the pipeline. Uh, I was having a lot of fun chatting with him today about emotes. Uh, and it was like a really nice distraction from my otherwise stupid day. So I appreciate you, Turgus, for making time to talk to a, a goofy goober as such as myself. It was very nice. It was like, oh yeah, it's cool to have friends. And don't get me wrong, y'all. I also chat. There's like yogurt and the, 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 the fellas there and then Jern and Nerdwina. There's a lot of good friendos, but you know. It was, it was cool to be like, Turgus, like, oh, what do you think of this? I'm like, oh, it's hilarious. Again, it's going to show up as a black square, but... Have one emo... <laughs> I mean... Listen. 
listen. The, the thing is, Alex Vixen, some of these emotes, I tell ya, I, I just couldn't... Do I not have a higher level axe? I guess I don't have a higher level axe, y'all. That's, that's silly. Yeah, I guess we can't chop this up yet. That's too bad. Where are our berries? I think Turgus was using Gimp bit gamey. I farf. Turgus, that's the that's the hard part, right? Cause like with emotes, you'll see something work really well for someone. That, like, everyone's all about this emote. And then if you make one, then no one's about it. Like, it just doesn't take. And so it's, like, so specific to the stream. And then even then you don't know what's going to take. And so it's it's fun trying to figure it out. But it's also, like, hair pulling of, like, well, what's going to work? Like, what do the people want? Why, why does... I still don't know why Kevin took off. Right, well, a bit, yeah. It's like, you have to make your own one. Hi, Melissa! Melissa, how's it going? Melissa, I packed away your sneaker. It'll be being shipped off tomorrow. Fridays are my days to go to um, the post office so I can ship off items. I have, I showed uh, the absurd number of envelopes that I've got. It is amazing. Turgus, there's no berries here. Maybe I need to sleep. I wonder if that was the issue. Look up. Give me one second. Get some more clay. Kevin's a go, but, like, Kevin, you know, I mean, he's an Aspergillus fungus, and no one would have, I don't know, I wouldn't have predicted that he would have been the, the winner, winner, chicken dinner, because everyone loves a lethal pathogen. That, that, you know, Alex, you're not wrong. It's like, hey, this thing can kill you. I'll take ten. What? How are we on water? We're fine on water. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't see any berries. It's not yet. Kevin's in my number two frequent. Aw, that's awesome. Thank you, Melissa. Go over where you can get up to the hedge. Tr oh, okay. Gotcha. That is... Is that here? No, that's not at the backpack. Where is that? There it is. <sighs> Southwest. Oh. Let's see. Three spawn points. I can see the purple field station. Oh, okay. Yep. Gotcha. Thank you, Turgus. Like, I need to know the cardinal directions. And it's like, no, no, no. We've got Lita. Lita knows the cardinal directions. Chat, why are we out and about running around doing this? Uh, I We need extra and better armor. Before we're going to take on a different uh, lab. The weapons are finally getting better to where we're not dying just all the time. Well, so, Gwen, all we need now is berries. We have to make berry leather out of it. Uh, but after that, Gwen, after that, we can, uh, once we get that final item, we can make the new armor. And then we'll be, I think, we'll try out going into the next area. The scanner. I don't know, Turgus. 
which is not helpful. I recognize that, that is not helpful. How do we check that? It's up in the hedge? Okay. Let me see. When I went to the head, oh, here we go. Take out this lace wing. One thing I really like, y'all, about the lace wings that these larvae that they make. Um, that are just running around is that they actually provide the prey for them. So the reason that there's so many aphids is because that's what they end up eating. And I'm like, that's a really cool little detail that they added in. Alright, one berry. Let's get a few more. Hi, Jim. Thank you for being on a 10 stream watch. Kite Fish! Hello as well, Kite Fish. Miss Fish, how are you doing today? Keeping time. They're up in the hedge, too. Okay. Let's just go ahead and do that then. When we did the hedge the first time, Turgus, I didn't know about this whole broken armor higher weapon blah bitty blah and so what that translated to was all of our armor was busted and we only had level one weapons and we were the absolute worst at it You're already in bed miss fish miss fish i hope you sleep well and thank you for visiting us I hope we can lull you to sleep, madame, and that you have an amazing sleep. We're, uh, Kaith, we're searching for berries, because of course you need berry pulp and berry leather to be able to make armor. Yeah, no, the head, the head, we, Turgus, it was, there were a lot of mistakes were made, Turgus, in that playthrough. But you know what? We didn't... We, we made it somehow. At the end of the day, we can't ask for more. Sometimes. We can also scan this new thing. Yeah, see... It look, okay, so it looks like the resource surveyor is unpowered. Is that what you're meaning, Turgus? Let's see. And we'll do the analyzer. We do have this new something. The water flea piece. Decoin bait, liquid gills, water flea mount, and stuffed water flea. Okay. And let's see. We can unlock that? Cool, let's do it. Oh, milk molar fusions. We have one. Stamina. Healing. What does this mean, the healing? No. Yeah, is it which one would be worth? We should do mutations. We can wait then. We can wait before we continue on this. Okay, cool beans. All right, let's save. All right, so Turgus, where are we going? Are we going up into the hedge? Are we going up into the hedge, folks? Remember, y'all, next week. Plain old Trey is going to be on. There's a dual playing action with us. We'll see We'll see how we're able to survive. And Poor guy's probably going to be shaking his head at the end of it. What did I agree to? Oh, there's a berry there. Getting to that berry would be difficult.
There's a reason why I saved Turgus. And it's because I just keep dying. Simple, easy, <laughs> just just not good, just not good at surviving on that front. But seriously, should I be just going up in the tree to unlock this item? Here, we'll get the sword out. Let's see. Allegedly making progress. The dandelion tuft trinket. Okay. That was the same spot. That was the same spot. I know, Humbler John. Listen, 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 Humbler John. When I wish it was. Sprinting? No. That was just a gentle walk. And jumping. Okay. Yeah, see, it's not just me, guys. Turgus said so, too. Alright. There's a berry... Oh no, the berry fell down. Lovely. Dang it. Like, I just wanted a berry. Okay, we can collect and we leave. Focus! Hi, N <laughs> Nelf. Hi, allegedly. Nelf, hello. I, listen, we're gonna, we're gonna pretend, Turgus, that I just died again. Because... I just I can't keep losing all this health. Where are we are we go where are we going in the tree, Targus? Give me some direction as to where we're going in the tree. Am I just like look where am I looking around? Actually there are some milk molars up here, so it's a good idea to look up here anyway. Up, thank you, Alex. Alex, I can't tell if that's a uh we're being a silly with that answer or if we're being serial or both. Actually, you know what, Alex, I'm gonna say that you're both. The zip lines up here, yes, Humbler John. We've actually beaten this area, like in that we completed the lab. But Turgus was mentioning we didn't find a particular. We didn't find a particular uh, collectible, and so we need to find that first. I, I just love Gwen, Gwen's reaction, y'all. I just love Gwen's reaction. I'm like, are you kidding me? This is like, this is Elden Ring all over again. Yeah, there are, there's, I remember there's a couple of those molars that we weren't able to get to last time. Because we didn't have like the right level weapon or anything. So that'll be a good one to go check out too. I, I just y'all I love Gwen's reaction. Like, are you are you kidding me? Poor Gwen. Alright, there we go. We've knocked down the berry for later. And let's just keep going this way. That's where the okay. There is the juice box. <sighs> All right, 
because Turgus, given how I'm playing, you know something off is going to happen. Use your clay to build a ramp up to it. Oh. Well, that that's going to change a lot of things. I didn't even know we can build ramps. Let's see. Where would be a good place for a ramp? We'll see if we got enough clay. Can we even put this? I don't know how helpful that's going to be. Maybe we just relocate these. I haven't built anything before in this chat, so this is all like, the techniques of this are going to be new to me. I think we're too, have parts too high. It would be neat if there is something like around here that we can build. Yeah, Gwen. That's our alleged goal right now. I, you know, I'm testing the boundaries, Gwen. We only have six of those clay things, so it might be one of those things where we need to go back down and get more. Ugh, which I'm not sure we'll be able to easily do. Right? Because I know jumping from here was not going to work. We needed something closer. Climb up to another branch. Yeah, it looks like maybe that one is progressing that way. Almost that wiring. Looks like there is a zip line that we unlocked earlier. Hi, Grimly. Grimly, how's it going? Grimly, our survival. Is not going great. A door near us to a tiny lab. Is that before or after the zip line? So grimly, we're trying to get to the top of this uh, box here. I keep falling and dying, so that's that's you know less than ideal. chat today I was in the stream scribe stream and I told Grimly how he's so handsome and he didn't he didn't even acknowledge it chat Grimly was just like I know didn't even tell me that yes I am he was just like just, just, just so handsome chat he's very very handsome 
They actually, uh, Carlo told us that he started to recompeting again in the Most Handsome Man in New York Award. Oh. No, no, sorry, he's a Grimlin. I'm just being silly. It was, uh, the words game was on Grimlin. Everyone's very distracted. Let's see. Turgus, your memory is beautiful, can I just say. I should have saved. I should have saved. As I was jumping on those leaves. Each step I just showed I just I, I got I got excited, chat. I got excited. I listen I Gwen, but we're we're learning. We're or something, Gwen. <laughs> listen, Gwen, well next next Thursday, Gwen, we're gonna have a professional on with us. Trey is a professional at this game. Thank <laughs> God, Turgus. I'm so sorry. Poor Turgus is like, all right, I'll just, I'll just jump in the game. It's fine. I, do I have my kiddo's birthday party tomorrow? Yes, but oh, there's just a friend in need who is unable to to do regular things. Ex Alex, exactly. All right, we're gonna save here in the leaves. <sighs> I just, I, I just love Gwen going, dear God. Say so this is, this is the saddest thing I've ever seen. Oh no, I feel even worse, Turgus. We're already in the leaves. It's fine, y'all. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it to this molar. We're gonna make it to this molar. <laughs> Gwen. Gwen, at this point, you don't even know I'm doing it intentionally. You don't even know at this point, Gwen. Am I just being funny? Or am I seriously this bad? Or this good? Gwen, we will never know. All right, Gwen, that one may have been on purpose. That one may have been on purpose. I may be chuckling at your reactions. <laughs> it probably would be terrible. <laughs> I, I, listen, Gwen, I just, I just, I know you're just sitting there. I just want to make you smile and chuckle. But just a little extra tonight, Gwen. I feel like you've had a long week, Gwen. And what might make you chuckle... is, uh, you know, this kind of madness. Hi, JD. JD, what did I do? I didn't, I wasn't trying to be misbehaved, JD. I apologize. <sighs> JD. Well, I mean, always, JD. I did, I did. Guys, if you love to mess with toot toots, which I don't even, I don't even know what that really means. Go follow our friend JD Does Dev. JD Does Dev is also a game developer extraordinaire and a musician and very naughty. Occasionally, allegedly, sometimes. Watch, yeah, Gwen, it's like we're not even doing anything that's even possible, or if we do figure it out, the glitch in the game. Science. Science. We're curious, not judgmental, always good vibes, when science on screen, time to learn the life of science stream. Thank you, Farf. You added the sax to your stream. Excellent, JD. It is, is it the full version, JD? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I probably would be. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, 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 <laughs> Thank you, Turgus. Cut it to 15 seconds. Nice. Hug Turgus like, why don't... Yeah, I mean, you're supposed to be able to, but... If you're, like, a first-time player of a video game, you might have difficulty. Tinkering? What are you tinkering with, Farf, if I may ask? All right, Turgus, we were close. Like, I, I was getting the idea of it down. Silent movie redeem. Ooh. Oh, I think... I forget now whose stream it was, but there was a stream that had a really, really good silent movie redeem. Like, it went, like, looked like uh, those classic movie reels. You just see anything in the game without climbing, just building. Okay. Well, I think what's getting me, Gwen, see how you can stand on this when it's horizontal? I wonder if some of these... Yeah, like the physics of the game. You have the tough trinket. Where where is the tough trinket? No, you're fine, JD. JD, we we can, we can load again. We can take a moment to see like not death. My audio. Okay. Oh, I like this. Nice. I like that. That'll be cool, JD. Nice. Thank you for sharing. I, Turgus, we had a dandelion at some point, but I think I put a, like the dandelion tuft is, was somewhere. Yeah, I don't think we still have it. I may have, Put it into a box or something. I wish you could build on the leaf. See, like Gwen, here. Oh, I see. Regular tough to you, the trinket in love. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. If here, Gwen, if we could step on this horizontally like this all right all right Gwen I think we're close we're gonna save here Gwen because I think we're I think this is closer I know Kai too is like save <laughs> That's why we saved. My head clipped the top of a leaf and we fell. It's like, are you cereal? Are you cereal? Allegedly, we are cereal here. Hi, Silly V. I'm actually really liking it. Silly, we've been, um, guys, if you're also not following Silly V, amazing artiste in the Gartic phone. Wop, wop, see, pal! It's not tethered by earthly limitations. Gartic phone. What does that mean? Come. Uh, coder as well. Uh, amazing artiste. Go follow our friend Silly V. Also has some really hilarious feet emote. Uh, which I found out actually Silly has both feet now in the purple. Go follow our friend Silly V if you haven't already. The Gartic art that he does. Wow, we did it! We did it! See, Gwen? Gwen, did that take longer than it should have? Yeah. But we did it, Gwen. Now we save. <laughs> because we need to save. But silly. Silly, I am really liking it. We've dissected a bunch of potential inaccuracies in terms of the the morphology and structure of the animals and then there's been a lot accurate as well in terms of the behaviors of the insects that they've done so like honestly hats off to the, to the devs i think they did an amazing job overall in this game 
All right, Turgus, the question now is zipline. <laughs> we're not safe farming here. No, no, no. It's like we're actually we're just because we don't believe in the the, the streamer. No, no, no. Yeah, we are. The spooters are spooky. We've oh no, the berry's gone. Should I take the zip line back, Turgus? There we go. Well, like little spiders come out, right? Humbler John? Humbler John, didn't you tell me that those were good for resources? Oh, it's one way? Ah, shoot. Should I go... Should I drop down to my demise, Turgus? I can just jump down. We haven't gotten that far. Alright, Turgus. Hold on. Whee! That Gwen was intentional. <laughs> God, I love it. Gwen's like... GG, dang it. <laughs> He's... I did, I did, Turgus. Yes, yes, yes. I, I got the molar and I saved. See? We're fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. We did not back off. <laughs> That's when Turgus like, I'm out. I can't even. We're, we're out for the night. <laughs> we're done. I can't. All right. Sleep well, Harissa. In dreams, one is not tethered by earthly Fine. limitations. What does that mean? Come. Sleep well, Harissa. My favorite part of that is the... Like pants around your pants. The secret, uh necklace that we have for gk on there i actually gwen i'm not half bad at god of war i mean i've died a, a few times but that's mostly because Ooh. fine fine does this look hairless i start on like <laughs> i attack the overpowered enemies like where you're not supposed to go there until you've gotten other weapons but that's not the same i feel like here where i just can't jump appropriately You know? Guys, I'm so sorry. We have to shout out Irish John in just a moment. Uh, we didn't have the hourly. I missed the hourly shout out for Jern. Let's see. Where would it be, Targos? Thank you, Harissa. We appreciate you. Have a lovely evening. It can't be up higher that way. Where would we go? Oh, because I was misbehaved, Portal Geist. Okay, it is after the zip line. You will see it on your left as you zip across. So, does that. Do I jump off the zip line early? Or do we not have to worry about that? Whoa. Kai Fish, look at those emos. Just zip, zip and walk back. Okay, let's get some juice. Let's get this juice here. This is the best ever! Okay. Oh, is that it? Let's 
save. If anyone who's like an actual good gamer of this, they'll be like, why do you save so much? This is miserable. All right. Excellent mustache. Whoa. Never caught on. I, I believe them to be far superior to the Mark Threes. Those never lived up to my expectations. <laughs> they can only calculate post-cooking burger weights to the nearest got the mustache. Of and they only had enough memory for one seasoning module: salt or pepper. Let's see. All reboot. With you, Mark Fours, not Frequent sparse use, putting a drain on cell volumes, targets. recalibrate the surveyor system Did focus. Okay, save location, new location profile, failure, numerous system errors, unknown interference, possible sources, neighbor Bill Henderson, the kids, Omnians. Alright. Thank you, Arissa. Hold on, let's see this. What is this? Thank you, Cynic Jester. I appreciate you. And I'll be back. Actually, Cynic, we have an emote and a command. Let me show you. I'll give you a freebie of it. Uh... I'll be back. Have a good one. Thank you, Cynic Jester, for hanging with us. Science in the house. All right. And... Let's see, pull. Ooh, Turgus. This is very wise. Turgus, this is so much, this is so much better. It's gonna be so nice. To expand the Increase radio wave interference. Isolating signal source unsuccessful. Interference uses broad roving spectrum of frequencies. Road code to alter surveyor every five seconds, keeping it hitting from mysterious static. Success. Surveyor system reboot. Complete. Um, TZT. Uh, units not used for guard duty have received the profile upload and are currently en route to harvest in the yard. Use of field acquisition of showing increased sign of wear and tear. Rust being most of the 19 unknown radio signals spotted during the review process. Points of origin not at fixed locations. Increasing security protocols in all lab facilities and installing biometric readers were needed. Okay. This is clearly something we should have found earlier. We've at least found it now. Baby steps, y'all. All right. Actually, you know, let's continue going along on the, the hedge route because I know there's some molars that we missed. And Turgus said it's going to be important for us to at least have those three so we can increase the amount of mutations that we have. Yes, Alex Vixen. Alex Vixen. Oh, the con to redo the upper part? Is that a good thing? Alex. I think that's a good thing, Alex. Right? Kai Fish, I, I did just save. If we die here, it's, we've just left the, the little room. Because, <coughs> Kai, they're spooters. As soon as we go to, like, you know, we make, like, a, any kind of significant trek... Like, if we get these berries, then I'll save again. Which, yes, is that silly? Absolutely. But we clearly cannot trust me with this game.
So the pre the per there's a oh come very There is a scientist, Gwen, that we found. Or like Raiders! Boost the Brims! Welcome to Hack In. Raiders! Science stream, science stream, but we ain't fucking. We over here, but believe you can check the game quit. The game quit. I promise I didn't have to prescribe you vibes. The vibes are giant. Shout out to the screen for the raid. That's science. Raiders, welcome to Hacking Boost Brims. Boost Brims, how was your stream? Tell us, tell us, tell us all the things, guys. If you don't know Boosted Brims, amazing artiste extraordinaire, go follow our friend Boosted Brims. Boosted, how was the stream? Give us the details. What were y'all up to tonight? Tell us, tell us, tell us. I hope it was lovely. For the Raiders coming on in. My name is Belint, one third of Science Streams. The other two thirds are my lovely wife, Lita, and our daughter, Baby Alona. We're research scientists, and we do interactive science streams here on Twitch every day of the week with microscopy, art, sci fi science, science news of the week, deep dives in scientific topics, games, 3D printing, IRL streams, model building, and more. Raiders, welcome the heck in. How did the stream go? Tell us. Tonight we're playing Grounded. And uh, as soon as y'all came in, uh we had the the game just died and so luckily we had just saved working on two custom hat brands today nice boosted what were the um what was the theme of the hats today uh guys boosted brands makes beautiful hats they've shared some, shared some of their work with us in the past really beautiful stuff so go check them out we're playing um the game grounded for those coming on in and it is it's basically like honey i shrunk the kids but in a video game form uh we don't know yet who was the responsible for shrinking us down gwendolyn p was asking what's the story so far here there's a, a scientist left here there's a scientist uh that we know of and this scientist was like Well, we don't know what happened to him, but Gwen, the robot friend that we made was like, who has amnesia, luckily enough, right? That robot friend was like, well, you know, I don't know really what the science is up to, but some other, like, like you, well, we can figure it out later. Like, I have amnesia because I'm a robot, but yeah, it was a, it was a strange one, Gwen. But we're still working out the details of the story. Uh, your Star Wars and wildlife were the themes. Nice boosted. Yeah, the zip line all the way over here, Turgus. Keeping time. I do see this one. Oh, look at that. It's actually a nice view. There's some raw science up there. There is a zip line too. Is that where we need to go? Thank you, Gwen, for dropping the Queen Alicia Martin emotes. We haven't done this yet. Boosted. It's been a lot of fun. We're, again, playing from, like, the scientific perspective. Of, like, talking about the insect science behind this. It's been a lot of fun. All right. We cannot. We don't have enough. Turgus, we had silk back. It's it's just in the box. It's in the uh the box back at the main base. Chad, I done failed Turgus again. Hi, PipQ. PipQ, how's it going? Welcome in, PipQ. Pip, we're playing some grounded. 
chatting about the insect science behind it as well. Currently collecting resources and replaying an area with better weaponry. So it'll be more likely, hopefully, allegedly, to beat it. Are we actually going to be better at it? Well, it's questionable. Alright. Believe we need to continue along this way. Kids love the stream. Aw! I'm so glad. I'm so glad, Boosted. Yeah, I... Again, this is our one game night of the week. But I'm really glad to hear that they're enjoying the stream. Because uh, that's, I mean, that's the whole point, right? Of exciting everyone about science. Spiderlings. Nature's soccer balls. Turgus, when we first played this area, even these little enemies... Truly terrible. Because we didn't have any weapons to take them out. Our armor was terrible. This is so much easier this time through. Yo, oh, no, no, no. It wasn't just they were wrecking us, Turgus. It was... It was... Yeah, there were no... No, yeah, we had no bandages. I, were you here for that? Torgus? I cannot remember. If you were here for that, I am, I truly apologize. Oh, then yes, I really I really apologize, my friend. I really apologize that you have to see that. Alright, I think we're going the right way. It was the first... And somehow you came back. Together. Boosted, the Brim! Galaxy... Boosted, thank you for the sub. Boosted underscore Brims just subscribed. Thank you for that tier one sub. You're going to add to our raw science beaker. Every sub, gift sub, resub, prime sub gets its very own piece of raw science. Boosted Brims, this is for you. Thank you very much, Boosted. Appreciate the heck out of you, my friend. Turgus, I don't, I don't know. Thank you for coming back. That could have been a very terrible impression. You did, that's right. Oh, good God, I'm so sorry. And somehow you still came back. You're a gem of a, of a human. I'm so sorry. I tried. I really do. This is the best ever! That's right. That was a very, very painful night. But it was fun at the end of the day. No, not the burial. Far, thank you for the lurk. This is so much easier, y'all. When you have, like, your act be prepared. Like, obviously not easy, easy but... Thank you, Boost. Far too kind. Alright, well now there's too many. Look at that chat. We got a bunch more scooters. So, Grimly, this is on the Xbox. We did, yeah, we got the new... See, this was totally worth doing, and then we're going to save, too. Grimly, it's on the PC, but it's also on the Xbox. I remember we tried Grimly on the PC to play it, but 
it slowed down the computer stream so much that it was unplayable. I I assume, by the way, Turgus, we can't yet go in there. Is that a fair assumption that I should not attempt that area? So instead, grimly, we've got the capture card running from the Xbox. Beeping goggles equipped. We can go look. I imagine we'd be better equipped than last time, but... Probably not well. Yes. So I say I saved at the beginning, Alex, and now I'll save... Well, actually, Alex, I'll, I just saved after I took out the spiders, so if we do die... Then it'll take me back on the frisbee and it's less of an issue to try to get back. Hi, Andrew! Guys, do you know Andrew CZ? Built like a Greco Roman god, technological wizard extraordinaire, and a breathtaking soul. I would also argue a besto friend, though. Please go follow our friend Andrew if you have not already. What on earth? Much the best friend. I thought it was Moochie. For a second, Andrew's like, what does Moochie mean? I mean, it's like a spooter queen or something like that, right? It's actually a really pretty nest. Right, Moonrise? Ping moral support. Andrew, you are support just by telling me, saying hello. Makes me feel special and loved, Andrew. Hi, Panchi, first time chatter. Panchi, I have no idea what this is. I, this is the first time I've been to this area. I have no I idea what that means. I honestly thought that. Panchi, we have on um, arachnophobe mode because we have some folks that might get nervous about the spooters. Um, and so I thought that was a. Uh, Late game. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was um, the droplet, like the the arachnophobe mode. So that's why I was shooting an arrow at it because I can't tell with the arachnophobe on. It's like I'll get confused. I'm like, is that a droplet of soda or is that a spider? And it's because I don't want people in the community to, to you know who are arachnophobes to not be able to watch. But Panchi, welcome the heck in. Uh, my name is Balint. I'm one third of the stream. The other two thirds are my wife, Lita, and our daughter, Baby Alona. She just turned one. Uh, Lita and I have our PhDs in molecular biology, and it's particularly insects, and we do interactive science content here seven days a week. Uh, today's our game night, so we play Grounded and other games that have science behind them. We've been dissecting the science behind the video game, like what's accurate with the behaviors of the insects. Uh, we also played, most recently, Pikmin, which is based on ant genetics and ant behavior, which was super cool. And then we've done Sonic the Hedgehog, whose genes are based on developmental biology. So there's been a lot of, like, different science content stuff that we do here. Together, we can Party! Galaxy. Brrrr, Daki! Sorry. Brrr, Daki just subscribed for 24 months. Your face is super cool. Barty, thank you for the tier two subscription for two years. Barty, thank you. Barty, that means you get two pieces of raw science added to the beaker. Barty, 
Thank you for your two pieces of raw science. Getting us up there. Like near a quarter way of the full of the beaker of raw science. Thank you very much, Barty. Barty, how are you doing, my friend? Yeah, Panchi, we also do microscopy. So looking at tiny worlds under a microscope. We do um, 3D printing. We do IRL fossil hunting streams. Uh, we do science news of the week. All of our the artwork on stream is ours. So yeah, welcome the heck in. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Uh, guys, Barty is here. Bardaki is making a video game called The Unwanted War. Please go follow Bardaki and go wishlist The Unwanted War. Available on the Steam store. We'll watch the trailer in just a moment. Joins Random Ground Streams, helps person with tips. Panchi, tips are very much welcome. Uh, Turgus has been helping me amongst others for us to try to survive. Guys, this is the game. Made by Bardaki, The Unwanted War. Uh, it is available for wishlist. If y'all would not mind hitting that wishlist button. Grimly! Grimly, thank you for the gift sub to Ponchi, our new friendo. Ponchi, please enjoy the ad-free viewing. And the emotes made with love. And the, the new piece of raw science. Added to our beaker. Grimly, thank you. For that raw science. Remember y'all, if we fill up the beaker... We'll do a raffle for not one, but two glow-in-the-dark DNA pins. Guys, the Unwanted War, made by Bardaki. It's been a blast watching him develop this game over the past, I guess we've known each other for two years, Bardi. Um, he's a gem of a human. He's really, really kind. Uh, and I appreciate him more than he will ever know. Uh... I, I lurk a lot on his streams primarily because I'm usually like it's like the middle of the work day but it is like one of the, the kindest people to hang out with Traveler World thank you for the 100 Traveler World thank you for the 100 biddies guys we have kicked off a hype train you know the drill actually I think we might have completed a level 2 we did complete a level 1 chat we completed a level one. That means we'll be having at least one raffle for a sticker or a magnet. So let me go ahead and set up the raffle chats. Uh, any any level we complete, we do raffles for stickers, magnets. Complete a level five, we'll do raffles for pins or sticker sheets. Exclamation point raffle. It is now live. Feel free to enter. Exclamation point raffle. Um, no, Ponchi, you were gifted a sub, Ponchi. You were gifted a sub uh, by our friend um, uh, Grimly. Grimly just gifted you a sub. We did, but Targus, the cool down for the Chew has ended. So we, now we have new Chew. You got scared? No, 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 Ponchi. You're Gucci. You're Gucci. It just, you know, we have very friendly people here. Very, very, very friendly people here. Very generous people. Ariana! Ariana, thank you for the 100 biddies. Thank you very much, Ariana. We appreciate the heck out of that. Thank you. Allegedly, not yet, Barty. Yes, we did have a raffle. But she was Gremlin Fox who drinks coffee and knows things that you... How dare, Alex? You know very useful things. Alex... Alex saying these these naughty things suggesting that they're not breathtaking and knowing all exclamation point raffle y'all to get on in there we'll have at least one raffle oh grimly nerfed Alex Barty Bardaki, you have made me pixelated, Barty. Barty, we're continuing our first playthrough of Grounded. Sleep well, JD. Thank you for hanging with us. Alex does know a lot of info. We're playing first playthrough of Grounded, Barty. Barty, Barty, Barty. Trying to survive. Actually, this area is, is now much easier because, <laughs> because we're, you know, we actually have armor now, and that's not broken, and we have weapons, and like, all these things now we have, which is uh, pretty nice. Pretty bad has live steel. Live steel. Oh, okay, nice. Red Ant Club. 
Yeah, so Ponchi, the Red Ant Club, that's the double-handed weapon, right? Right now, I'm just using the the single-handed one so I can have the shield, too. That's been, like, the, the big catch on that front, because I, I like being able to have the shield. It's I feel like it's made a difference um, to the game, at least to me. So far, so far, because I'm just, like... Ponchi, we did this area in the upper part here last time we did it uh all my armor was broken it was all level one all busted and uh level one weapons too and it was horrifying it was we were it was not good but somehow we completed the area but now we're going back because i know we left some molars out um that we need to go in and bust so that's um some of the the components of why we're going back now and Turgus mentioned we had left out some things so we're going to be going in to collect those items best weapon in most games is very dependent on that is true and Ariana I usually go in like a wrecking ball that is um, that is my means of going in and this is not really suited for that kind of approach yeah yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I had yeah. I had no gear and no <laughs> and no bandages. <laughs> yeah. Tur Ponchi Turgus. I don't know. I honestly, I must have made a good impression, or he must have felt really sorry for me. Um, he came in, and that first night was the first night he watched us stream, and he decided to sub. I think maybe out of pity, um, and now he's been coming back ever since. Somehow, so somehow we got him hooked. I don't, I don't know what it was. I don't think it was my sunny personality. May, again, maybe it was just pity. Like he's just like, you know what? Let's just help this poor soul out, guys. Thank you for the hype train. <laughs> and Pachi, thank you for the follow, guys. Last call! Exclamation point! Raffle to get on in. We will do the sticker or magnet raffle, whatever y'all would like. Thank you again for the hype train and for adding all that raw science to the beaker. Queen Morgana the Druids. We love you, madame. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and roll the raffle in three. Killing stuff takes longer, but survivability is up. I'm, I'm get, it's, it's getting it. Turgus, it's going to be less embarrassing when Trey joins. Like, he'll still shame, put me to shame, but, like, it'll be a little bit easier. Maybe. All right, chat. Three, two... And one. Barty! Bardaki, you've won the raffle. Congratulations, Barty. What could, what could there was be? Leroy Jenkins, yes. Hi. <laughs> yes, pretty much, Alex. You did. I, Barty, I don't know what to tell you. You entered the raffle and you won, Barty. Barty, what would you like? There's magnets or sneakers. What would you like? Bardaki. What would you like, sir? What would you like off the menu, Barty? Barty, I don't know what to tell you. The night bot giveth and the night bot taketh. Or we can re-roll again, Barty. If you if you do not want the prize, we can re-roll, Bardaki. We can re-roll. S9, you got it. Kevin Partner. Barty, I'll be mailing this tomorrow. Fridays are my post office days, so I'll be going into the post office and mailing off. Thank you all again for... um. The hype train and supporting the stream. We appreciate the heck out of y'all. Alright. I actually love your face more. Brrr, Daki. Oh, look. Bandages. Thursdays? What do you mean? Thursdays, Barty, are like... Why well, not? Barty, this was a... Uh... Oh, we can't save right now because there's an enemy out here. Oh, I wish. No, Barty. I still have to work tomorrow. Barty, this week I've been an accountant and a tax lawyer. Barty, I, did, I know nothing about accounting, nor do I know about tax law, and yet I've been doing it all, all week. And it is going... It does... It, oh, grimly. It is very taxing. Not even in a good way, Grimly. Whoa, why are there so many spooters? How did I account for it? Not well, Barty.
on the plus side, y'all, we're now getting at least some spider stuff. So while where we are fighting a lot of them, that should be getting us a fair bit of those resources. Alright, I think... And Turgus can correct me if I'm wrong. I think we'll want to go this way. That seems to be like a trail up here. There's a lab up in the, these treetops, chat. And that lab, I know, had some of these molars in there that we can bust now. Yeah, there it is. We can bank. Alex knows what's up. Very well done, Alex. <laughs> Alex is like, I got y'all. I got y'all. Alright. Cool. We're back to this lab area. Noise. After you attack with heavy weapons such as swords, clubs, and battle axes, not daggers and mini sword, you can quickly block. Got you. So, Ponchi, does that have to be like a perfect parry, or is it just like you can block and you're good to go again? Let's take a look. Just the block animation? Okay, cool. So, like with this one blocking, and then I can attack again. I. <laughs> Ponchi, this super cringy thing is, I was, Turgus will tell you, I was hor horrifying at blocking at the start of this, to the point where I was like, oh, is man. he even I wish I had a hoop so I can dunk some of those spider leaves. not trying to block, or are we just being funny? I'm poisoned! Okay, cool, cool, cool. I, you know, we are getting better. And Ponji, again, like, it's like, well, he's a scientist. What do you expect? I love video games. I'm just not as good at this one. Don't hold the, okay, don't hold the block for too much time. Gotcha. Slowly, my torments come together into one ingenious solution. Yeah, I've just been instant clicking it. Let's see, can we... Oh, we can't make, like, silks here. Let's see. Can we actually make the armor that we were trying to do? The ladybug armor. We can make it! Turgus! We can now make... Craft and equip Turgus, right? Right, we should. Turgus. Give me give me a sign, Targus. That we should make this armor. I'll be go for excellent. I'm not we finally will be a little bit more powerful. A little bit more powerful. Alright. Look at that. Boop. Materials. I finally found something to fix my zip my zip problem. While the bonding formulas were complex to say the least, Barty, it had to be done. Use the web ropes with raw size. Really, nice. Ponchi, I just want us to be like better equipped at things. Oh. It's yeah, it's it's nicer to have like better armor. See, do we have we don't have the ladybug shin guards. We need more ladybug parts and more berry. Luckily we'll have more berries that'll have fallen down so we can get more and make the shin guards. And just overall be leveling up our armor. Once again, it proves to be the key. The new Let me see um, if there's any weapons that we should be keeping an eye on. Hi, Ali Mew. Ali Mew, how's it going? Ali, we're uh, re well, not redo. We're going back to this like hedge area and just trying to get at some of the missing bits that we had done. This bratwurst here. Oh, we need the ant egg and fungal growth. Buddy belt. Every boss in the game. We have that armor set. Okay. 
And the set bonus. Okay, sweet. So we need to do that, right? Turgus is sweet. Dilly Do! Guys, if you're not checking out the lovely, amazing Dilly Do, please go follow Dilly Do. We love Dilly Do beyond all reason. He is, in fact, a amazing and secretive. Oh, in 31 seconds. Secretive artiste Dilly the Do. Dilly, I love your face. How are you doing today? High defense when upgrade, you unlock better healing. Full set is equipped parry. Okay, sweet. Let me see then the, the helmet for that, too. Is something we need to do. Allie, I'm really liking the game. You know, we're dissecting it again from a, the science perspective. Berry leather, so more berry leather. Okay. Soft, but have the and it's a lot of fun, I think, to dissect seal. this from the scientific perspective. Like, what's accurate and what's inaccurate. Again, the biggest inaccuracy so far that I was, like, my new creation, maybe, fiber. like, avoidable and, like, Just ever so slightly egregious. Um, is oh, that some of the ants gums would suggest that. This is are structurally incorrect. <laughs> so, like, body bits were not done correctly. Or like body bits are missing. That's honestly the worst part so far. Guys, go follow Dilly the Doe. Dilly the Legendary Doe, who is a super ninja of artistry. Jern, sleep well, Irish John. Jern, sleep well. I hope uh, I will see you tomorrow, my my amazing friend. Don't worry, we'll get your hourly shoutouts in, my friend. Not at all, Dilly. Oh my god, Turgus, do you remember how this area we were unable, we just kept dying? And now it's just like, oh, it's a spiderling? Let me give two hits. Yeah, it was definitely something. <laughs> Not in a good way. <laughs> yeah, Allie, so it's, it's like, think of it like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, but with insects. And it's been really cool. Right now, we're looking for a molar. Andrea, is it because you're excited for the booty dancing class? Hi, Ramon. Ramon. Ramon, did you hear Andrea's got a really cool class tomorrow? It's going to be the best kind of dancing. It is. Oh, they keep getting requested it. Don't do that. Do not do not do that, Allie. They, that, those are scams. Don't get scammed by those people. Is that the molar I thought of? Oh yeah, no, those are huge scams, Allie. Don't go near any of those. Like those Street Melon sponsor deals? Yeah, those are the absolute worst. I may as well help you with the block inspired to finish the sound. Listen to the sound we're attacking and block instantly. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, it's like figuring out the right timing of it. Yeah, I guess this was already smashed. Oh, yeah. The, the stream elements ones are. Yeah, Andrea. Those... not good because like you have to say like every 30 minutes you have to talk about them and like like for this particular type of one every 30 minutes you're talking about it well because it's not through twitch right it's just you you agreed to you agreed to it and so it's it's nothing against the it's not on twitch it's just 
It's like you and you, you know they they can't police everything that we do. Like Andrea, there was one where Risto got like a Cinemax, no, a HBO Max deal, and he had to like put a big thing on his screen that showed it and kept talking about it and just honestly throw out the whole screen. Yes, so, uh, Panchi, the reason we're playing in that arachnophobe mode is just to make sure, because we have some friendos in the community that get nervous around spooters, and so I just wanted to make sure that we're not, um, scaring anyone. But yeah, I, look, I think it's, it would be a lot easier to play without, uh, yeah, oh yeah, well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because it's just, it's throwing me off and figuring out where, um, some of the elements are here. Try to bring more some wiring winds. Oh, I feel you on that, Andrea. I'd also... D oh, there we go. Here is what I was looking for. Don't die. Exactly, Alex. Ooh, drop... Watch it. Alright, reload. Reload. Oh no, Allie, it's sub only. It's sub only, that's why. All those commands are sub only. Except for, um, well actually no, sir should have worked. Sir. Oh, I know why it didn't work, Allie. Um, it, it did not work because you used it in a sentence. It has to be by itself. It has to be by itself. That's why it didn't work. You found the mini lab? Alright, Turgus, where do we go? Let me smash this tooth here, Turgus. And then I think we're good to go. I don't like your pants around your pants. No, no, no. It, it's, you can do it, Allie. It's, um, you just have to do the, uh, it just, it was in a sentence. That's why. Mega Milk Mall. There we go. We did it, Turgus. We did it. No beans here? No, there's actually a lot of beans. That's the issue, Barty. Oh, cool down, Allie. It's on a minute cool down. Sorry, right, poor Allie's like, oh, I can finally use it. Dang it. <sighs> it's all right. We saved. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, get on top of the lab. Yes, you're right, Turgus. So the, the on top of the lab, right, we have to use the uh, zip line. Right? And then we use the zip line, and then we jump early, and I think that's how we move around to get to the top. Barty, did you know Andrea Noart is a legendary artiste? Bardaki? And when she arts, she dances? And Barty, I don't know if you knew this or not. Oh, see, that would have been very smart, Ponchi. Barty, Andrea is going to a booty dancing class tomorrow. Where apparently it's gonna be like dancing around um um with like butts and stuff. I don't quite know exactly what's going on, but it sounds like it's gonna be very cool. What she told us, Barty. You get to different spots when you get to the battery. Okay, hold on, Turgus. Hold on. So we need to first write. Can we? We can use this branch. Right to go up to the top of that area. Here we go. There. 
<laughs> hey, I'm old. I'm Hardaki. Andre, you are not old. You are 22 years old. <sighs> Andrea. Let's see. Alright. I think it actually may have been higher. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, Andrea, you told us this. Were you, Andrea, was this Andrea No Truth? There we go. Turgus, you are an amazing soul. Turgus, we now have enough to do um, the upgrade for the mutation. Alright, Turgus, where are we going? Where are we going, Turgus? Where are we going, Turgus? You are not 34, Andrea. I'm not playing that game. And if you are, madame, you do not look it. I told you you're a supermodel in the country of Colombia. Actually, all of South America. It is on the lab, okay. Uh... On top, like on the outside? Andrea, I am older than you. Which is actually really visible because I have aged very poorly. Andrea, you know that, that Balint the science guy redeem? Someone the other day was like, oh, look, it's young Balint. I'm like, that was two years ago. That was two years ago. <laughs> what do you mean? That, that's young Balint. I'm like, oh, God. I've aged so terribly. <laughs> look, it was a very stressful time. I will save again, Turgus. I'm pretty sure I did, but now I'm, like, not sure. Look, that lab really aged me. I do try hard to be first, Barty. Barty, that's a sense of pride. Uh, June 5th, that same year, Andrea. But I am no supermodel. No, 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 D Dilly. This is coming from a man with a beautiful beard, a beautiful heart, a beautiful soul, and a stunning modeler and artiste. I will not take this, Dilly the Doe. Allie, young tw your 20s. Everyone's actually Allie in this community in their 20s, unless they don't want to be. No, I actually, Barty, no. I, if I shave, it will accentuate the, uh, the, uh, the bags under my eyes. In fact, Barty, they're so bad that when we go visit my family and they want to do photos, my mom edits out the bags under my eyes to the point where I don't look recognizable. I'm like, mom, that does not even look like me anymore. She was like, well, you look terrible. Thanks, mom. I mean, listen, you're breathtaking. Dilly. I know, I know, Andrea. I look very ragged. It's okay. Andrea, listen, not all of us can be beautiful like you. It's fine. I am not shaving. Gwen, my daughter has only known me with a beard. Would we dare put my daughter through that trauma? I did make the armor. I did make the armor, Gwen. But now we're trying to find batteries around here. On top of the lab, Turgus said there's a battery somewhere. And there's a secret lab area. Roof of the lab and work our way down. Okay. No, I don't, Andrea. You never... I never saw... I have never seen my father. Without his mustache. Never. And... Show it? Yes, absolutely, Gwen. There it is. So the chest plate, Gwen, 
is now the ladybug armor and our new friend Ponchi said that if we get the the ladybug knee pads and the ladybug helmet we get an armor bonus and we'll do that like we'll that we'll get like a special healing bonus so now the chest plate is like really really good so i'm 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 happy with that addition we need more ladybug bits and berry bits but i've been chopping berries off the tree so we should be okay once we get down there we should also eat something Well, we ate a little bit of something. Uh, whoa. This left? Stop. I am 5, 10, or 11, Andrea. This way, Turgus? I'm very <laughs> Thank you, Barty. No, Yogurt Girl, you saw the picture. Uh, Gwen. On Yogurt's stream today, where she was taller than that giant statue. Five two and and yet on billboards across South America, Andrea. I don't know what to tell you, Andrea. No art. Turgus, I'm worried I'm lost. I am lost on Bardaki. I know, I know. I was that was that was coming. Five foot even noise. Poor Turgus. All right, come back up. <laughs> All right, Turgus, right here. I will stop. Poor Turgus had to get out of the game just to guide us through this part. I mean, that's okay, Allie. It's okay. <laughs> Andrea, did you know that Bardaki is uh, has an acoustically perfect kitchen? Straight ahead? Okay. Did I go the wrong way, Turgus? Um, fun lethal, you can craft a bunch of spears, throw it at enemies. It's the same amount of damage capable of destroying beetles and spiders. You have block attack. Oh, nice. It's under me. Uh. Okay. How do we get there? Um, no, no, no. You can also sing, Andrea. Andrea, I've seen you sing and dance. You're going to a, a dancing... A dancing class tomorrow. Well, we tried it. Hold on. This is why I saved. Jump and grab it in there. Yeah, that's what I was trying to go for, Ponchi. Then I would fell. I'm excited to um, to hear about that dancing class tomorrow, Andrea. Are you streaming tomorrow, Andrea?
All right. It's that one, right, Turgus? With the opening? That we were, like, zipping across that we need to jump off early? Is that the... Oh, don't zip! Oh, oh, shoot, okay. Sorry, I'm, like, trying to go to a totally different location. So, Gwen, Andrea dances on her streams. And she says, you know, she said for a long time, she's like, she like, Balance, I don't dance. I don't dance. I don't do that. No, 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 no. But, Gwen, then I was lurking on her stream and she just started dancing. And so now we know that it's true. And then tomorrow she's taking a booty dancing class. Fall, wait, hold on, Turgus. There? You wanted me to fall here. <laughs> this is the beauty of the live stream, y'all. There's a delay, so I'm like, uh, is this where you want me to go? Look around from this spot. Kender or Hector? It is fun. It's a good time we have, Ponchi. We have a lot of fun here. And we also know that Andrea, in fact, does is taking a booty dancing class, which is fine. I'm so sorry, Turgus. Sir. Poor Turgus is like, what on earth did I agree to? I didn't even agree to this. Ooh, well. No, it's not here. No, it does. I apologize. It definitely does not help that it's dark. It's like we're behind. So, what is it that looks like we're looking for? It's no, so it's not that lab that we were there. Thank you, Ponchi. Yeah, we do okay sometimes. Doing okay. There's a 9-volt battery. It's just sticking out and around. That is true, Barty. Although, Barty, people did come in and be like, Huh, you got grounded like you made a... You made a goofy, you know? On the roof of the lab. On the left. Aha! Yep, 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 yep. Got it, got it. Stand on it. Look at that. All right, save. <laughs> he knows. He knows. He knows. He's like, save, save. Okay. We also took a screenshot for some reason. It's fine. Alright, up here. Yes. I think next year will be kind of off. Though I realize I can't do as much detail on current set of drawings looking weird. Your drawing is beautiful, Andrea. This direction, Torgus. I'm facing facing forward. I don't know even where we're going yet. <laughs> you did jump on Discord. I'm so sorry. Should I be going this way? God. 
poor Turgus. <laughs> poor, poor Turgus. It's like, what should we do? What do we do? Okay, get on the battery and don't move. All right. Hold on. Yes. Guys, you know Turgus. Go drop him a follow. Not only is he having, helping a goofy goober like me, but he's a very good streamer. Extraordinaire. Alright, I've turned around. Yes. And Dan. From the hit movie. Dude was my car. <laughs> Alex. The branch in front of you is the one you want. Follow it to the right. Okay. Yep. Yep. No. <laughs> Other way. Alright. Back to here, Torgus. Back to here. Where, where are we going? Looking at this. Up the other mushrooms. This left. Okay. Oh, I see. Yep, yep, yep. Gotcha, gotcha. Stay left. No, 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 this is important, Gwen. Gwen, this is important. Gwen, we need to figure out how to get there. Gwendolyn, I need this item. I also am getting better, Gwen. So allegedly we'll be able to get to the point where I'll be like a functional gamer on this one. Next week though too, Gwen, Trey's coming on and he's gonna teach us how to build and do stuff along those lines, I think. Let's ask him what we're gonna learn. Yeah, this is this is towards a, a hidden room, Gwen. Like right up in this area is like a hidden something. God, are you kidding me? <laughs> Welcome back, Andrea. Perfect timing, Andrea. We died. I'm here for the falls. Gwen! I... At least now, y'all, I know how to get to this branch. Which, poor Turgus. Alright, up this way, past the mushrooms... No, no, Allie, not yet. Yep, I see it.
No, no, no. We saved. Turgus, we saved. Now I'm gonna... Or do we know? We have a direction to go. Is it a sea... <laughs> Gwen! 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 Gwendolyn P. One day, Gwen, you're gonna come in and join me on this. You're gonna come in and join on me on this, Gwen. Look at Gwen. Look, look, look. Oh, Turgus. I really should have. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. It's, it should have been. All right. Save again. He's he's not kidding. God, luckily there's not like a save limit on this game. Can I get All extra right. credit for this? Broodmother research notes. Let's see, weevil. Oh, so this is what they're eating. Lady to, ladybug and a bombardier are cooked. This is the boss, right, Turgus? That big boss. Nice. So we know what food to get it now to lure it out. Excellent. Nice. Sweet. And we got some, uh, we got the, the scab item and some raw science. Right, Ramon, it actually does fit, like, it's the perfect game for the channel, right? It's a lot, and it, it's like, Blint, it would be much better if you were actually good at it. But you know what, Ramon, we will at some point. be like slightly mediocre at it. All right, y'all, should we go? I think we finished the items that we were trying to do in the lab area. A speed run. Andrea, I don't think I could do a speed run. Do you know why, Andrea? That's on me personally. I don't I don't do well with speedruns. Sleep well, yogurt cattle! Yogurt cattle, sleep well, you beautiful soul. Thank you again for the raid, Queen Yogurt. Guys, we're gonna check it out Yogurt Girl. Please go drop her that follow right meow. Just playing the Katamari game tonight. No no no, I don't do um I don't do speedruns, Andrea. Because I love to go exploring things. Allie, we've already done a 24-hour stream. It was for our 1,000 follower celebration stream, Allie. We did a 24-hour stream. Actually, it went 25 hours. And, um... Never say never again, but that was very difficult. It was very difficult at the end. And that was with Lita and I switching off. So, like, Lita started with, um, like, I started and Lita had, like, a little extra sleep. And then I switched. And then we had, like, uh, another, like, I took a small nap. Yeah, we had a 24-hour, at 1,000 followers, we, had, we did a 24-hour stream, Andrea. You can, you can train up to be longer, Allie, but it was, like... The 24, man, that was, that was a lot. I mean, Alex, listen, I love exploring in a game. Are you kidding me? 
I love exploring stuff. And so any like big, really big open world game, I don't like doing, um, I don't like rushing it. Is that a new, so Andrea, we had a couple of friends who did a 24 hour for a thousand. We had Cricket. She did a 24 hour for, um, a thousand followers. Hello, Carlo, the stream scribe. How's it going? Cricket did a 24 hour for the 1000. Um, looking cool. Zedman did a 24 hour for his 1000. We did a 24 hour. Uh, I know Jimmy B has done a 24 hour. He's not at a thousand yet. But I think. I mean, I joke that he's going to do a 36 hour, but he might do another 24 hour for one, his 1000. I don't know. I, I don't know if that's just in our community that's the common thing or if it's in general it's a common thing your butt could you could i mean andrea you dance a lot i think your butt will be fine especially with all these classes that you're taking it's gonna be totally gucci like do not worry about that andrea easy to stay away or irl 24 hours it was <laughs> it was fun though Gwen. like honestly it was like 18 hours where i felt like we hit a wall and then gucci uh, afterwards like it's like i got my second win there five weeks progressed so i'm going to, yeah i alex i just love going all the side missions yeah well carlo aren't you doing a, a 24 hour for your 3500 carlo oh i know ali ali you're fine ali how dare you apologize okay chats we made it back to this thing it's good wow whoa whoa stream scribe getting nerfed what did he say i had no idea yeah he, he may have called me poopy face he may have called me poopy face chat andrea you are near a thousand followers ma'am i don't even i don't even I can't even, Andrea, with you. Can't even, madame. We all know you're going to be getting to 1,000 real soon. You're one of the fastest growing streamers I have ever seen, Andrea. You're going to nerf me IRL so hard? God, hello. Not in front of the children. Oh, cool. There's the resource surveyor. Nice. Look at that. We have it working. Just like Turgus helped us with. Oh, there's a scooter in here. My nose is growing. No, 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 Andrea. I'm just Hungarian. Matt, scientist. Welcome to Matt. Matt, how's it going? Guys, if you did not know, Carlo... He just said it when he hits 3,500 followers on, or 30, yeah, 3,500 followers on Twitch. He's gonna do a hot tub stream, and he's gonna take a bath in Lego. I don't, I don't make the rules, Chad. He he said he was gonna do it. He's all about it. So please consider supporting Carlo on this journey. Ha yep, has a hot tub and has Legos. Or he said sour cream, and that was more me. New chair came in. Excellent, Matt. What kind of chair? Right, Gwen? Go follow the Carlo and help him get to that follow goal so we can see him take a bath. What? Why would I say that? Stream scribe, why would I say that? I assume, Turgus, if you're still here, that we can now go down, right? We'll go back down the tree. I love this! Yeah! Hi, Queen Relish. Queen Relish in the house. Blackhawk Executive. Nice, Matt. How is it? Once I go down, um, Turgus... 
we can just collect the berries we've been dropping, right? It will be a three and a half minutes stream consists of me from my phone showing sour cream and condiments from uh, the restaurant I work for, then driving home and showing you the hot tub cover and saying, yep, hot tub. <laughs> Look, Carlo, I don't care. You said it. You can head east if you want to collect. Yes, I do. Wait, east in the trees or east down below, Fergus? Guys, also, Queen Relish is in the his house. Go follow Queen Relish. Greener, tiny, tiny worlds! Tiny worlds! Go follow the Queen Relish. We adore Queen Relish here, Chad, and you should too. Haven't said my old chair is flat. Gotcha. This mat just. Whoa. My chair is also. The one I'm sitting in is pretty flat, so. Eventually, there will be a new chair coming for that, too. Oh. And we also figured out, Matt, that Carlo, when he crosses 3,500 uh, followers on Twitch, he's going to have a three and a half minute stream uh, with sour cream in a hot tub. Bells Bean! Elfie Bean, I adore you, madame. We're going to do. Um, he already has, so he owes us a stream, Grimly. Queen Elf, I will give you a shout out in just a moment, ma'am. Thank you so much for hanging with us. Elfie Bean, you know I adore you. And everything you do. And thank you for being part of our community. Carlo, funny enough. There was a house down the street, Carlo. A house down the street that was for sale. When we were moving to the area. Uh, and we actually, the, the realtor showed us this house. And it was really nice. Like, it was, like, newly redone, very pretty. It did have a hot tub. And what was very... It was it had Bluetooth, this hot tub. It was a very fancy hot tub. But what was interesting, Carlo, is they said that to remove the hot tub, they would get rid of it. Dead. They would get rid of the hot tub. But it was an additional $20,000. The house would have been an additional $20,000 if you wanted to get rid of the hot tub. Which made you wonder, what was the deal with this mysterious hot tub? Corn Relish, as you're laughing, ma'am, we had someone many moons ago. They have stopped coming to the stream a long, long time ago. But they really wanted there to be a hot tub stream here. But not in water. They wanted us to do a hot tub stream in mud. And they wanted it to be what they called the mud tub stream. And they would come in from time to time and be like, mud tub? No mud tub. They'd be very sad. Toby Downford on a bucket list photo blunt and me hot tubbing, buying cigars, bragging, huge necklaces. That's that's fair, Carlo. I will that that's fine. Except I've never Carlo um, had a cigar or anything like that. But I I mean it they they do look really cool. It's not I'm not endorsing smoking in any way, but. Every time I see, like, my favorite soccer teams, when they win something, it's always, like, the coach with a cigar in his mouth. It's like, that looks really cool. No idea about any of it, though, but... Yeah, never, never Andrea. My, actually, Andrea, my dad, he was... He, when, uh, when I was, I was but the wee lad, Andrea. You know, dad's telling me about, like, lung cancer and all this stuff. Of, like, why not to smoke? And I, I remember asking him, like, have you ever smoked it? Like, have you ever, like, tried it? And he goes, I once put a cigarette in my mouth. I was like, what did you do, Dad? And he was like, I was angry at it, so I threw it on the ground. And destroyed it. Andrea, it was a very weird conversation. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it was... It was very aggressive what he ended up doing with it. Have a good sleepies, Andrea. Have a good sleepies. Auction it off. Set up us for... Oh, God, Carlo. 
the way to do it, my friend. That's one time is something. He I took it and I spit it out. <laughs> All right, said east, so we gotta go this way. Yes, I'm waiting. Waiting, Targos. This way? Thank you, Tergus. It's one of those machines that we can't do yet. Discovered Fizan can. All right. Hit our south goal. And now, east. Moonrise, thank you for hanging with us. Sleep well and good luck tomorrow. I hope you have a lovely day. Also, y'all, please go follow our friend Elfie Bean. Oh, West, sorry. Go follow our friend Elfie Bean, um, legendary artiste extraordinaire. Please go follow our friend Queen Elf. Um, as one of the best redeems on Twitch with Elfie snack delivery. A lovely fire witch pops up with a lovely snack item for Elf. No sorries, Turgus, how dare Torgus, thank you for all this help. That tastes really good. No. All right, chat. Let's see, spire flower petal, scales, two. Thank you for the lurk, Morgana, and thank you for hanging with us. Madame, you sleep well. <laughs> Queen of the Druids, we appreciate you. these berries chat
Also, probably a good idea to save again. At least two good berries. Let's see if there's anything else. I know we knocked more down, but heaven knows where they ended up landing. There's the hedge. Nice. Oh, there's a berry, I think. Perfect. And let's see if there's any more on this other side. Saps. Uh, actually, we can, I don't know, we can get a few more thing of sap. I think that's a berry over there. We're just rounding around the tree and seeing where I threw off those pieces. Turgus, thank you again for the help on this. That should be it there. Oh, not your memory is so good, sir. All right, y'all. I think that means let's, we can go back to the base. We should get some food. Deposit some of these items that we've we've gotten, and then I think we can we need to start. Uh, we need to harvest some ladybugs. Also running low on our food meter. We need some food. Actually, I will put in on the map to our main base. Oh, we can chop the apple. Where is the apple? There it is. Turgus, you're so wise. Uh, yikes. Is that the insect that acts? Isn't that the thing? Like the... You know what, we're about to die, let me just... Oh no, it's that's the club, never mind. Yeah, I only have the club. That's right, this isn't gonna be it. Alright, just reload. Yeah, I don't think, Turgus, that I've... I, I don't... It doesn't show... in the crafting area that we have access to that one yet. Like on the ax, I think it's only the pebble ax that it gives us access to. Like if we go here, melee, self ploma, it depends fuzzles, it depends. Uh, we do self-promo for friends who are part of the community. Oh, no, we don't. We need a ladybug head and silk rope. That's what we were saving up for, Turgus. We can get the ladybug head and the silk rope. Fuzzles, I don't know if you read the rules, if you're asking. Please consider Fuzzles reading the rules. You did? Didn't it say no self-promo? Depends, Fuzzles, on what you're doing and if you're a friend of the community. So, community friends get to self-promo all the time. But, you folks, we like to know a little bit more about them before we let them uh, do the promo. I hope you can understand that. Let's see... Where is this aphid meat? Is it this one? Oh, 
Bunker, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Bunker, we're trying to get back to our base. We need food. After we get the food, we're going to be updating or upgrading our armor. And we got some weaponry that we need to upgrade too. I'm doing well, Bunker. Welcome to the channel. My name is Balint. I'm one third of the stream. The other two thirds are my wife, Rita, and our little baby girl, baby Alona. Um, Rita and I are research scientists, and we do interactive science content here on Twitch every day of the week. Uh, we have our PhDs in molecular biology, and we, yeah, we do science here. Today is our game night, and so we're doing our first playthrough of Grounded. And we're insect scientists, so uh, that's what makes it super fun, I think, that we're able to, you know, learn about and uh, chat about what's correct in the game. Like, what was accurate, what was inaccurate. And for the most part, they've been doing pretty well. So yeah, it's uh, it's been a lot of fun playing the game. The seat is complete. Matt, how does it feel? Bunker, yeah, so it's the first playthrough, Bunker. Um, and feel free, you can feel free to to let me know about stuff in the game like there's not a no spoiler tag on so if you want to chat and give tips totally okay uh, i'm liking it a lot so far it's very different style game from what i'm used to playing uh usually i'm just playing some kind of like much more action packed game versus like this like it's more of an rts in some of these of like you know the strategy components according to gwen we're gonna try a uh, a zero death run at some point which is gonna be hilarious because i can promise you right now that's not gonna go well but may maybe maybe uh maybe trey will help us do that gwen much better than the old one going back to Amazon and see it on sale. Wifey wants why everything costs double. Ugh, I'm sorry. You haven't seen a single death yet, Gwen? Gwendolyn P. <laughs> you haven't seen a single death, Gwen. Alright. Back to the base we go. And Bunker, we've been chatting about the science behind the game, too. And honestly, it's only gotten a few things wrong so far. Um, the big, bigger offenders are, like, some of the structure of the insects. Like, there's elements missing. Um, but nothing, like, super egregious. Yeah, yeah it's a f well, because, right, Grimly, if it's a reload, does it really count? It does. It does, chat. <laughs> Actually, the Gwen, the way you can tell. Oh, the structure is so. Uh, loose Boofagens. Actually, uh, Queen Relish, we did have um, the Fireflies shoot Loose Boofagens at us. Now, mind you, they normally cannot shoot Loose Boofagens, but I'm counting that as, as that's what it was. Um, so like when the on the ants there's no hold on there's no um you have the thorax and the abdomen but the petiole is not there and it's supposed to have this double humped structure and it's not there and that's like a defining feature of a fire ant and that for example is missing so, there's a, also, Alex said in the game, there's black ants and red ants and fire ants. Now, red ants and fire ants are actually the same thing. You wouldn't want to, they're not tends to be called different. So, it's, you know, a little bit questionable, but, you know, we'll, I think we'll figure it out. But, yeah, there's some structural information missing. I don't think it's just for animation purposes. I feel like it's just, they just didn't add it. But I feel like it could be at a bull. 
without too much trouble. I think, I don't know. Okay. We need food. Let's find like some weevils or something. There we go. More silk rope is being made. I guess we can cook an ant too. Should we just cook the ant chat? Drop the world, thank you for the stretch. Give me one second. Yeah, I'm sure there was some like choice behind it that made sense. Ooh, only got a red ant part. No, they're fighting us. Hi, Shibby. Shibby, how's it going? We've been playing this game and chatting about the science behind it. I'm also being a little bit savage and killing ants, which, yes, goes against what you'd expect, but uh, Shibby is just happening. Um, we've been... As we've been playing, it's our first playthrough, and again, like, talking about what's biologically accurate and inaccurate. Hey, boy, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. You know, talking about what's accurate, what's inaccurate in the game. Which has been a lot, it's, like, I feel like it's a perfect fit for the channel, and, in, like, with respect to what game it is. And, like, just seeing, like, all the little creatures and, like, I don't know, it's been a lot of fun. We also have, I also, it turns out I'm very bad at video games, Shibby. At least on stream. <laughs> and so we've, uh, we see me die a lot, but it's fine. Chat has been very kind to help me on this journey. And we actually, we're having a guest next week on as well. Plain old Trey will be, uh on with us to, to lead us through like some building and I think maybe I can um, strong arm Targus into coming on as well. We'll do a stream together. Because I have to read chat. It's fine. Queen Relish, I just want to make you proud Queen Relish. I, to I tell you this Queen Relish. Guys, also do you know our friend Shibby? Shibby loves is a long time friend of the channel. Um, like back in the, the ant cam days, we've known Shibby. So please go check them out. Not be disappointed. I'm just trying to get our food levels up, y'all. That's why I took out the weevils and roasted them too. Um, no, not at all, Shibby. Not at all. Uh, a long time friend, though. It's the least we can do. So yes, Turgus, I'm going to strong arm you into coming on as well. I think that'd be fun. Three jobs in two hours, 17 banners, 15 posters, 40 stickers of all shapes. Yep. 11 a.m. tomorrow? Luminology, what does that mean for your sleep? Are you on, like, Valent sleep time? That would suck. I apologize if you're on bullet sleep time. Well, I mean, Shibby, I work, Shibby, I work three jobs. And one of them is to, you know, it's the nine to five. It's the consulting. And then it's the dream to be a full-time, like, streamer, which is what I would, I would actually want. Um, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I tend to get like three or four hours of sleep a night. <laughs> we applied for Twitch Ambassador, Shibby, so that's the next goal. That and Partner Plus. If we can get the Partner Plus program plus Ambassador, we can make this full-time without worry. 
Get about four and a half hours of sleep per night. 4.4 hours of sleep per night. So I can get up at 5 a.m., knock it all out in about three hours. Also, come in a shot. Nice. We, oh, listen, it should be. If I don't stay on top of the morning cat pit, pack cat picture, am I really a human anymore? Am I really a worthwhile friend? There we go. We're full up on the food now. Nothing to analyze. All right. We need, let's save. Chat, we need ladybugs. I never do, Shibby. You know, it's like, it's one of those things. It's really nice to hear that someone actually appreciates them. Because you never get the feedback, right? It's like, Shibby, we now have five cats. We got another one. Oh, I know. I'm not very cute. I know. That's okay, Shibby. I know. I know. I know. Oh, guys, we can get now increase active mutations. Perfect. And then let's see. We do have a mega molar too. Sleep well, Luminology. Love your face, Luminology. I know, right, Cornrush? It's like you cute as no, not you, not you, just your cats. You're you're kind of weird looking. I know, I know. Max consumable stack size, max resource size, max arrow size. Well, it only requires one. What is what is that mean, Turgus? Is that does that mean like things for eating within your backpack, or like things you can use in your backpack? Hold more. Oh, okay, so like. Instead of a fiver, it's like 10 or something per. Okay, let's do that then. Ready. Perfect. Should we get anything from the science shop? Let's see, zip line. Po we have 14,000 points. Reducing fall damage. Do we want something that reduces fall damage? I feel like we might need something like that. Chat. I'm going to get the reducing fall damage mutation because I fall a lot. Uh, let's see. Sign set. Oh, cool. This is for like building stuff. A meat shield. Increases max health. Sturdy stem door. It's, I mean, <laughs> Gwen. Yes. Gwendolyn P. Absolutely. I, I might be a monster on that, Gwen. Oh, and now we can do the, uh, the resource finder and we need ladybugs I guess we just need to find the ladybugs or no survey running Oh, red squares. Okay. So, like, here is one. Or, like, here is one. Okay. Let's go there. Because, chat, what we need... We need the insect... Oh, no, we can make the insect axe now. Let's make the insect axe. Right, that's the one we don't have. Let's take a look. Um, yes, because we have the insect hammer and the red ant club. So let's make the insect axe. That's an important one. When plain old Trey next Thursday is going to play with us. I think we're actually going to go live a little bit earlier as well. 
that day. All right, insect axe. Let's make this one. Cool. And now we need to make ladybug stuff. Yeah, so apparently, Gwen, anyone can drop in and out. Which is pretty cool, I think. Let's see. Yeah, well, Draft Killer did two butts. Uh, Trey does pants around your pants. This needs to be... Where is my equipped weapon? Okay, now it should be back in the inventory, I imagine. There it is. There we go. Boop. We've got the insect axe. So now we can get Turgus, right? The, the apple. You don't need to fret up to set up and host a server. Does that mean that you can pop in on someone else's game at any point, or does that one of one person have to be live? All right. Pop on it. Nice. Heck yeah. All right, let's go get those ladybugs. Maka, how's it going? Guys, go check out our friend Maka Waka, IRL streamer extraordinaire. Maka, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well, Maka Waka. Maka, we're doing uh, some more grounded. Are we surviving well? Not bad, not bad. We need right now armor. More armor builds. No worries, Shibby. Shibby, we love you. We need more armor, Maka. Of the Ladybug variety. We just got a new weapon. I think once we get this next piece of armor, then I'm gonna ask well, Turgus, I guess the next question is what base do we go to? Like where is the next desired location. Caught in a web. Not in the mood to fight you, Spooder. They're just not catching the hit. On my playthrough, we did the pawn next. Okay. what? Do, so we need Turgus, right, stuff then for the pawn, right? Like, is there... Or, or can we just go in with what we've been doing? Like, all that we've kind of been collecting and working towards. Let's see, where is that ladybug? Allegedly right on top of it. There it is. It's underground somewhere?
Johnny the Taco. Johnny, hi. Thank you for the follow earlier. By the way, Johnny the Taco, how's it going? Johnny, we are doing our first playthrough of Grounded. Talking about the science behind the game. Made it home. Excellent corn relish. Swimming gear and the knife. Okay. Johnny, how are you doing today? We're just being grinding, getting new armor. No, corn relish. Don't say that, man. You would never encourage texting and driving, Queen Relish. Ladybug part. I hope we got some Ladybug head. Just got home from work, starting the week off. Oh, nice, Johnny. Excellent. Johnny, it would be... How cool would it be if we just had the time to just off, off? That's what I would want. Like, you know, I still have to work tomorrow morning, but... It would be great if that was not a... Not a part of it. Alright, it's still on the map. I guess that's another one? Good point. We can have one more. Parry Master, Meat Shield. So add, we can do max health. Let's see, right now we have equipped Turgus. Let's see, axe attacks that are bonus. Actually, I, I think I'll remove that. We'll do Meat Shield. Let's see. Daredevil for the fall damage. Let's see, what should we do? Critical hit chance is also currently equipped. I think maybe this one then. There we go. We got now three equipped. We got three equipped. And then it's just finding. Here we go. There's another. Yeah, it's like underground or something. Of course, I end up finding like the hardest to find. Ladybug is the one that I select. Alright, well, let's look on the map. Maybe there's another one nearby. Probably just in the area. I think I'll shift to this one, too. See, did I even get a ladybug head from the last one? Oh, we only got ladybug parts. We didn't even get a ladybug head. Ah, they don't always drop. Yeah, that'll do it. Dang it. We might also need to sleep, Turgus. Like, I wonder if... Y'all can let me know if you've played this game before, of course. When we sleep, does it regenerate the insects? Because, like, I feel like there were a lot of ladybugs near our base at one point. But now that we've been, like, on a killing spree, not so much. Queen Relish, am I allowed to, though? Queen Relish. But the poosh queen relish. Mm -hmm. 
Ladybug part, no head. No head again, y'all. On to the next one we go. I don't know. Bright corn, something's not quite right here. I blame these scientists. Initiated a fight between two things here. No, 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 stink bug, fight the, fight that one. Stuff bugs give help rare. And is that like something like a trophy that you leave in your base, Turgus? I do feel bad about hitting, hitting the ladybugs. Like, I feel like they shouldn't be our collateral damage, but. No head again, Turgus. <laughs> Trophies that give you damage. Nice. Okay. I like that. We're gonna save right here because I feel like at least we're collecting pieces of Ladybug. That could be helpful. Oh, I see the sensor that we're near some kind of secret. Is it me, Alex? I mean, Alex, for all, at this rate, it probably is me mishitting them. Yes, this way. When we went on the path, it got to two star. Oh, the secret requires bombs. Okay, cool. Never mind. Ah, and it's underground. Yeah, that'll do it. Thank you, sir. Not a spooter. Let's see. There's another one right over there. Or no, here. Or I guess we can go up this way and see if there's ladybugs up that way. Yeah, let's actually go this way because then we can see that milk molar. Maybe there's going to be someone in there. Oh, it's one you collected. Oh, gotcha. For a second there, I thought... Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's in the can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apologies. But... Let's see. Right over here. After we see if there's a ladybug there, let's take a look and see what kind of equipment we need for diving underwater.
kind of doesn't make sense. Oh, I see. So, like, the idea would be that if you collected them, then you can see them on the map so you know where you've already found it, and that way you can 100% it. Gotcha. Well, hi, Skip the Pickle. AKA Skip the Bell. How's the rest of your stream? The lovely Skip the Bell. Skip, was the stream egg excellent? Skip the Pickle. I hope you had a lovely time. I know you were playing. Oh, that first person shooter, Skip. I am now forgetting the name of the game, Skip, but I've seen plenty of people playing it. How was it? I hope it was fun. Leave the company, that's what it is. How was it, Skip? We're still playing, of course, granted. We're trying to level up our armor. We've done some more on the weapons. Tons of fun noise. Excellent, Skip. There's another aphid. There's our ladybug. We're hunting ladybugs, Skip. <laughs> We got a ladybug head. Thank you, travel the world, travel, sleep well. See you tomorrow, travel the world. Oh, we have two ladybug heads. There we go. I did. I what tonight, Skip, or was it what you the image that you sent? When when was this? When was this, Skip the Pickle? The one earlier. Yes, I did. I did see that. For the burf. Looked excellent, Skip the Pickle. Yes, I did. It looked really pretty. Well done. I expect nothing less, Skip, of course. Of course. Alright. We'll go here next. And let's see. Turgus said we needed some underwater equipment. I assume bubble helmet, Turgus? We need, maybe? Or should it be this gill tube? Okay, we need the gill tube. Thank you, Skip. So we need lily pad wax and eel grass strand, which not we've never gotten before, Turgus. So is that going to be... Like, in the water that we should be going for this? Or near the water to harvest that? Okay, that's probably the direction we need to go in. Okay, so we need to go to the water to get that stuff. Is there anything else that we need right away? Maybe wait for next week on that one? What are you trying to say, Turgus? Okay. Let's continue to that spot there. Mosquito there, chat. The 
Black Ant or Haze Lab. Okay, nice. I think it's probably around time, Turgus, that we do another lab. I feel like that would be a good call. Progress a little bit. Yeah, the mosquitoes are cool, Gwen. The design also suggests they're both female. We're definitely gonna die from them, but... And again, the reason female is just because they both have... like a blood meal in them. You wouldn't see that in a male. Oh, there's the male. Look at that. Oh, nope, it's a female. Ah, when they hit you, they get the blood meal. So they're all females, I guess. The Hall Tears, Gwen. It looks like there is, but they're almost wiggling too much to be able to easily make it out. So Gwen. Keeping time. Marked. No hall tears, it looks like. The antennal segments are pretty well done. You also see the tur guides there, so like each of those abdominal segments. The eyes are pretty on point. They even Gwen, look, they've got the wing veins. Which is really nice to see. But no, those hall tears are not there. The proboscis is pretty cool though. And like Gwen, even the leg segments. I mean, overall, it's pretty good. Alright, where were we going? We make it to our destination. Calvo Cave. Let's go ahead and... There we go. Can we craft these? What's missing off the off the wit which one? Octavius Hi Octavius, thank you for the gifts up to Pushy Science. Octavius, thank you for the gifts up to Pushy Science, sir. Octavius, you have added a piece of raw so science to the draw science beaker. Thank you, Octavius! The Hall Tears, I will show you, Turgus. I'll show you. Octavius, how are you doing tonight, sir? Guys, make sure to go follow Octavius, who has a physics redeem on his stream that you will very much enjoy. He's also a gem of a human, a besto friendo, extremely kind, extremely handsome. Go follow our friend Octavius. Okay, so, Turgus. This might be a good image to look at.
Apologies, it's a little blurry. So these are the hall tiers. So these little stranded nubs that are sticking out. No, most you. Listen, Octavius, I love your face. You had a lovely stream today, and I appreciate the heck out of you. I was having to play this whole, like, tax lawyer accountant thing today, and I might not have enjoyed it. Octavius. If I might, I mean... For shizzle, I, I did not. It was, it was very much not my vibe. But, Octavius. I did it. Hi, Kaka got a Gornion! You hugged Goofy today. What about Mickey? Hi, Queen Bentley. Queen Bentley's here as well. Bentley, it wasn't for, like, me doing my taxes. It was for work. Bentley, it's like you... You take these, Bentley, like you take the hair and you just go, Wah! A uh, friend told me Goofy gives the best hugs. And we, aw, how was it? Don't have a, listen, with my day, Bentley, no. Neither of us have enough hair. Even put together, neither of us have enough hair. But guys, you should also, in addition to following... The lovely Octavius. You should also follow Queen Bentley. A breathtaking soul. She's amazing. So Turgus, those these are the Turgites right here. They're on all Dipterin, so they're on um on like the true flies. And here they they're suspected to be for balance. Some people suspect that it's for mating. It's not entirely clear of what it's for. To be totally honest, like, I'm not convinced experimentally either way. But that little bit was missing from the mosquito. The rest of it, like, even the antennal structure, the wing veins, the tur guides, like, are all looking pretty spot on. So, that, that's the, those are, that was the region that was missing. Apartment lost hot water. Why, KK? KK, what's going on in your apartment? All right, we got that. I actually want to see the lily pad. The mosquitoes? Oh, Turgus. The Turgus, our backyard. I love our backyard. It's a very small little, like, you're on a, you know, we have a really small property. But I really, really like the backyard. And Lita got me a hammock one year. Um, because I've always talked about how much I loved hammocks. This is just staying on a hammock once. And I was just like, this is amazing. I love hammocks. Hi, Digital Dac. Welcome in. Except it turned out, Turgus, that outside, no, in our back, like in the backyard between our property and the neighbors, there's a. They don't keep the uh, the pavement really paved in that area, and because of that, there's all these like dips in the the pavement and so it like collects a bunch of water there and so there's just it's a mosquito breeding ground back there in the summer so i usually can't even use the hammock because we'll be eat, eaten alive and i was hoping to take munchkin out there and like to enjoy the, uh, the backyard but even like she'll also get eaten alive and i can't be doing that i can't be having munchkin being eaten what was the damage in the storm and companies are saying oh, i gotcha coming to her tomorrow but you're okay, KK? You don't need anything? I don't know if I can send you hot water, but if I can send you hot water, I would. I would send you hot water. Yes, uh, soon, at some point, Gwen, uh, I'm going to get some images from KK. There's no KK, there's no rush, because I'm... We've got a bunch of other ones that we need to work on, but there will be some that we'll be sending off. We're not that far behind when, allegedly.
Oh no, it got away from us. Property manager here, nice. Miss Goyan, I just wanted to take out this tadpole. Actually, it's kind of neat that there's tap holes in here. It lets it would let us talk about Xenopus biology, which are frogs, and it's one of the most common. It's a model organism for study for developmental biology. Not so much the tadpole stage is primarily egg stages that are studied, but still really cool. What else do we need now? See, one of the Coast Guard stations. I was sent to Fort, Fort Esk, New Jersey. Our station logo was a green head horsefly wearing a bib and hold. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Turkis. That does not sound appealing. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, let's see. We need to do Ladybug Faceplate. We can build that. Great. And then Ladybug Knee Pads. Do we really need more berry leather? Berry leather and leather and flower petals we need. All right. Where are on the map are we? Should be flower petals around here. We'll go that way. Two to three layers of clothing. So, Turgus, have we talked about... I don't know if you've been here for it, what makes people attractive to mosquitoes. It's actually a fascinating batch of, like, different components. There, got a scab. Excellent. And I think let's also eat before we save. Let's see, I think I, we have some cooked food. We will roast, yes. Excellent. So, Turgus, one of the really fascinating things, I think... They're attracted to the color of clothes that you wear. Oh, horseflies. Horseflies, I don't think that anyone's done that kind of research on that, unfortunately. But, it would be interesting to see. I, don't, I can't imagine that there's any kind of, like, cross-talk between those two things. Because it's usually, like... You know, what, what's directing you towards that might be very, very different, so. Do certain things attract biting flies to people? I remember South America having to say the water. I am, so Cake, I imagine that there are similarities. Um, like, not quite the biting of a mosquito and what causes them to come after us, but maybe something like, you know, where it's similar to the mosquitoes is that there is like they're attracted to this your skin microbiome and like what's all on your skin right so i can see like that's gonna be something that would be attracted to horse flies as well is a suspicion of mine again that's just shooting from the hip but especially if then there's differences between you and others Probably cake. I mean, you know, KK. I'd imagine there's just not the money for it to study it because it's, it's not like an immediate disease state. Then no one wants to study it. Mosquitoes, where I live, don't like my smell, but the parents less love me. Could be different strains, right? Um, one place, Gwen, that is been high on both Mita, Lita and Mai's list is Machu Picchu. I know, Gwen, it's like a touristy thing, but I really, really want to go like to the Andes and the hiking from there. I'm just like going to that remote location and like I don't know. I think it will be super cool, Gwen.
a llama spits on you. Listen, I've seen Emperor's New Groove. I'm okay with this. By the way, KK, we're going to be doing some Emperor's New Groove redemption soon. There have been a lot of party people that uh, have asked for Emperor's New Groove related things. And so much so that I feel like we might have to have a Discord watch party of Emperor's New Groove. It was just such a fun movie. Ooh, nice. Let's take a look. Oh, the berry boat works. It's so good. Y'all, this is horrifying. Look at that. Emperor's new groove, Gwen. That's when the uh, the emperor gets turned into a llama. And it's like, um, I guess it's Machu Picchu e era. I guess, like of when those were being built. Uh, it's it's a very it's a fun movie. It's a very fun movie. Silly cartoon. Ooh, the treasure planet. That would be good. But again, that's like... That's the one I think that should be remade. Actually, KK. We'd have to rope Nerduino and... Um, Professor Kanuck in on that. It was a coast card. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you did not know, Gwen, Turgus is a hero. Protecting us. Constantly. I will never stop Turgus. What is that? Yeah, Torgus, that doesn't change that you're a hero. I don't, I don't, Torgus, I don't understand. I think, I think you're having this, um, identity crisis that I usually have. You're amazing, my friend. You do stuff that most of us could never do. And you're a father, too. I'm excited to hear about how the taco party and nacho party goes. Uh, we've had these, Gwen. The boatmen, remember, Gwen? We've had these in our pond water samples. Yeah, we've taken pictures of that one. That's super cool. Yeah, definitely. Remember these, Gwen? The, and uh, I think... Uh, Cliff told us they're the backstruders. Let's see, let's drop something, y'all. Oh, the sprig, yeah. about 14 no 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 Turgus absolutely I, I told you we're not taking this poor Turgus is like blunt you just you gotta 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 cool it no I can't Turgus I aggressively support the friendos speaking of aggression it is the hourly mark for Irish John's shout out y'all poor Irish John he checks his dashboard the next morning and he just sees like once an hour science streams once every single hour. He's like, he goes, Blint, stop it, stop it. And it just makes me chuckle. So for anyone here who is not following Irish John, please go drop him that follow right meow. 
can get a little bit of a smile in on the mornings. Inventory full, what can we drop, if anything? Uh, let's see. I don't want to drop the mosquito beak or any of these. Berry leather, no. Here, we'll drop these. No mushroom, I didn't want the mushroom, no! Childhood cartoon crushes, Demona. Gargoyles, Demona. Is it weird? Probably. Also, Lisa Maza from Gargoyles as well. Definitely Demona. I had a friend, um, KK, who actually, we asked him that same question. It was in graduate school. Gwen, his name was Hoy. Very fascinating fella. He always would ask these very weird questions that pertain to nothing. Where's my drink? Ramon, thank you for the hype. He's one of the groomsmen at our wedding. Alright, who is this one? I don't know the first one. Okay, so... It's funny, Miss Goinian, that you mentioned this guy. Because it is a lion, right? Where I was going, Miss Goinian, was that our friend Hoy, his childhood crush was Nala. And that was the first person I ever heard who had a childhood crush on Nala or anyone from the Lion King until I've met you now. No spooters. Yeah, he had a big crush on Nala. We even put a picture of Nala on his desk. Gwen. We need flower petals, y'all. Um, let's see. Raw tadpole meat. All right, we have one. We'll drop the other one. Simba was my bro. Ah, that makes sense. I, I I get I get that. KK, I get that. Crap! Poison! A wolf spider is chasing us. Chat. Lovely. And they're jelly bean form. I'm poisoned. Oh, we are so dead. It's okay. We just saved, so I'm not worried about dying. Gwen, the best part was he had um, this drawer that he could open up. And the drawer he opened up was this flat piece of wood. And on that flat piece of wood, we taped a picture of Nala. Right, and so then it was just there for years, because he was just like, well, it's funny, where, what I'm, where am I going to put this? You know, I'm not going to put it anywhere. And the best and or worst part of that was our boss came in and pulled out this drawer, because he, he put the guy's like lab notebook on there, you know, because he was like going to look in the notebook and he was going to chat with him about the data. And then the cartoon of Nala pops out, and he just looks at him, and you know, the professor had kids, like, young children, so he knew about what the Lion King was. And he was just like, he just looked at him, he was like, you know what, I'm just not gonna ask. I'm just not gonna, it's fine, don't, don't tell me about it. Exactly, and it was hidden away, like, on the secret drawer of, like... He's like, what, what is... He just, he just 
seems like I'm not gonna ask. It's fine. He thought we were very strange people. And by we, I don't mean like me personally. I think I just the entire lab. Although, okay, so to illustrate how weird we're. Gwen, have I ever told you about Spatch Slap? Gwen? KK, you would enjoy Spatch Slap, I think. I think Gwen will have a chuckle about this. If she has not yet heard about Spatch Slap. I'm also happy to tell other people about Spatch Slap, too, but I figure since Gwen and KK are. Are chatting along with me. Maybe they want to hear about Splash Slap too. You don't want to hear about it, KK. That's okay. I don't have. To, I don't have to say. But Turgus, am I an approachable kind of weird? Like I feel like you wouldn't come back, Turgus, if I was just like just super duper weird, right? Maybe or like like off-puttingly weird. But plant and all kinds of knickknacks in my desk. No one questions anything anymore. Nice, KK. Uh, okay. So, Gwendolyn P. Let me see if I have this picture on my phone. It is... A fascinating photo because there's just so much in terms of the story behind this image. And by that, I mean there's people in this photo that we had to get restraining orders out on because we got death threats from them. Like, this is, like, it's a very weird photo. Uh, is it not on my phone? It's, okay, it's not on my phone, which is probably a good thing. No one needs to relive that trauma. Uh, but it was members of the lab that we were getting our masters in is the photo. And we had, and this was when the lab was still getting along well. This is where I've learned, KK, that, or and and for Gwen, for that matter, that in a lab setting, you cannot have everyone be besto friendos, especially with the professor, because barriers start being broken down that should never be broken down. So, best way to say this. We played this game called Spatch Slap. The rules of the game were... It was like Assassin, but with a spatula. So, if you had a spatula... You had to buy a spatula, and you had to bedazzle it. It was your special spatula. After you had this spatula... See, Dennis Rodman and Prince are... Wait. Dennis Rodman freaks me out. I'm not going to lie to you, Turgus. I find him a little bit scary. No, I want this weapon. Give me this weapon. So, everyone has to make a spatula, KK. Oh, the image. Oh, I see. Haha, uh -huh. gotcha. And I came in here to collect items, Turgus. What a what a goofy goober I am. So when we all made us, we all got spatulas and we bedazzled them. And the idea was, if you had your spatula on you, you were safe at all times. Your goal is to smack individuals in the game who are playing with. A diff your spatula if they're not holding their own and that takes them out then they lose Gwen's like what on earth is this and so and our boss is also playing the spatula game with us and so we yeah we had these spatulas you had to keep them on you at all times even if you saw each other in the real world you can take each other out with the spatulas um, one guy in the lab, we went to his second lab, because he was actually between two labs. He was in the, uh, the greenhouse where he worked with Monarch Butterflies, and he had left his spatula behind, so we all went and all hit him with our spatulas at the same time. There would also be people running in the hallways, chasing each other with spatulas, that's kind of thing. So that was Spatch Slap. 
Uh, and Gwen, in the in the photo, I think it's on my Facebook, but in the photo, there is a person who threatened to kill both me and Lita. He also had a police uh, a police and judge issued restraining order because he threatened to kill the daughter of the School of Public Health. He was also questioned by the police for the mysterious death of his previous girlfriend. He was also dated the postdoc in the lab, who's also in that photo. After they started dating, it was like it, everything just exploded. He would uh, sleep outside of her house, or after her, outside of her apartment after they broke up, uh, with a pillow, and an, he'd leave the pillow there in the mornings with a knife underneath. It was a very freaky place, Gwen. Tea? Yes, tell me all the tea. Gotta analyze some stuff, y'all. Algae! New recipes, none. Oh, and there was another guy, Gwen. The guy in the, the greenhouse that went for the, uh, the butterfly place that we spatch slapped. That dude... It, it turned out he went like totally off the rails like a year after we left and like smashed a bunch of stuff up in the lab. It was not good. Not not good. Tadpole me. Tadpole Mountain stuffed tadpole. And then let's see lily pad wax. Green machine, okay. Postdoc and the tech in my lap have been having an affair and the tech has write has her write letters wait has her write her letters of rec for grad school. Guess who suddenly is getting interviews this year when he didn't last year? That's some big old yikes, Miss Miss Goinian. That is some big old yikes, madame. I'm sorry, KK, that you're having to deal with that. That is... That is a very poopy, as, as the youth say. This here... That's the hard part, right? It's like you don't want to just go volunteer that information because then you're going to be like the clown who's volunteering that information, but at the same time, you kind of don't want to tell people. I feel you on that. All right, we can add these, I think. Let's see, the lily pad wax we can add. See if we can build stuff. How about acid glands? We will know. They're just collecting all this items, chat. It's okay. All right, and let's let's see now if we can make this armor. I think let's do the knee pads first. Sleep well. Sleep well, Alex. Thank you for hanging with us. Ooh, no. We're out of berry leather? Wait, it's nearby storage. There might be more. Personally, I know fairly well. Gotcha. Gotcha, KK. It's, it's a hard one, because... It's like you don't want to be known as the gossiper, but at the same time, you don't want to see someone make a really big mistake. Uh, is there berry stuff in here? No, it says nearby there should be some, right? So. Maybe it's in here. 
some berry leather. No, I don't think we have any berry leather, chat. Well, I think that means let's go ahead and do the, the, the head piece. Great, we got that. Now we need more berry leather, but that's all right. We can do that. And let's see. I think we can make more health. The bandages. Um, we need some more plant fibers. So let's collect some plant plant fibers and some berries. There we go. What do you think, Gwen? We've got new new armor. We just need those knee pads and I think we'll be set. And it's just berries that we need. We're actually going to put the the helmet away. We don't need that right now. I'm actually going to dump the um, these parts here just so we have room. I'll keep one. Well, let's dump the mosquito beaks in here too. There we go. Okay, those can stay in there. Let's see. That's roasting. Let's find on here the surveyor we need. Berry chunk. Is it all just gonna be? Yeah, it's all down here. All right, we'll go down there. We'll grab some more berries, and then we'll have completely crafted out. I think enough weapons and armor. So that for next week when Trey comes on, we won't be embarrassing. I mean, we still will be embarrassing, but it might not be that bad. Okay, let's also get some plant matter while we're at it. Spruce up our health a little bit. go a couple more of these and then we go set we'll get the berries and i think that'll be a good finish point for tonight i know we're just grinding away y'all but i appreciate your patience on this we want to make sure that we're well a we're learning about the game right i think we're getting better and better each week but the fun side too is that we're we're getting to see new areas too like i like checking out the underwater area I think that was a fun place to go check out. Swap the chopping, chopping mutation. So, Torgus, is that like the preloaded things are a good idea to have? Like the, the random mutations? Let's see. Which one's the chopping one? Oh, there it is. Okay. Perfect. Gotcha, yeah. The loadouts are, you know, are like a nice idea, but they can be difficult to do. There we 
go? We did, I think. Uh, let me see. Yep, the insect axe. Oh, get rid of the pebble one? Okay, cool. Pull this one here. Let's see, pebble. Actually, we can get rid of the pebble hammer too, right? Pebble hammer. Because we have the insect hammer. Insect axe. Okay. Must be something missing here. What am I missing? Insect hammer, red ant club, the torch, acorn shovel, spring bow, insect axe. All right, I guess we're set. No, that doesn't look like we're set. Something's off. I'm missing something. Cause I put the pebble hammer in there. Maybe it's because it's equipped. Here we go. That away too. Okay, cool. Also, that needs to be repaired, I think. There we go. Alright, and let's make some more health. Cool. Alright, we're set now on that. go that's good drop the sprig we don't need that oh why did what what did i just do what on earth did i just press did i take everything from this one aha there we go Oops. Pallets to store grass. Those are like the, the chopped like stacks, right, Turgus? Okay, cool. Let me just put these away. Construction. Let's see, what does it look like? does it look like? Stairs, foundations, fence. There's going to be a lot of cool customization that we can put together on this, y'all. Is it this one? Let's see. The plank palette? Okay, cool. Do 
do that and the stem. Gotcha. Crude rope. Where's the crude rope? Are we out of crude rope, y'all? We are. It looks like we're out of. Dang it! What did we need for the crude rope? Yeah. What did we need for it? I forget. Let's see. have oh why is it uh, I see we need to take out the plant fiber here we go Alright, so with this, Turgus, we take these, aha, cool, nice, alright, that's really cool, excellent. That is so much more helpful. Turgus, I think it was with the other week <laughs> where I just like left a ton of grass just like lying out. Man, we could have really gotten some good one. Red ant are ah gotcha. Well, I want to just collect these and then I want to go get those berries so that we can f finish out our ladybug armor so that I feel like we'll be more ready for battle as it were. Well, this is a good idea that we just, like, you know, build up a little bit on these. And have storage on this. No, I appreciate you, Turgus. I appreciate you. This is good. Again, I feel like... And I think Moo mentioned that, like, in the game you could just read all these tips. But I feel like there's no good real training in the game to prepare you for this, you know? If that makes sense. Alright. Let's save now. And we need to go get those berries. Why did I take a screenshot? I have no idea. Alright. Berries are... Where did we get it? Oh, that's awesome. Nice. Excellent. Turgus, you're so wise. Oh, my map went away. Nope. Yeah, let's, let's find the berries again. Survey buried. Oh, I see. It's already surveyed. Alright, we'll go down here. Let's get that berry leather chat. Build it up. Get the armor, and then I think we'll be good for tonight. Yeah, so Turgus, your building looked amazing. Like, that's the kind of building that we need. That would be super cool.
I also intentionally have, haven't really done a lot of the building. Just because I felt like it would be easier to... Actually, sorry, I forgot to analyze a piece of data. It would be easier to just go and start like this. Not get to, like, you know, make some progress in the story, get some items. And then jump o over to building, like, after we've unlocked a bunch of things. Was that my naive thinking on it? Here we go. Fluid flippers, water boatman mount, and stuff boatman. Okay. And almost leveling up our brain power. Nice, and actually I can put that into storage. Unlock the foundations from raw science. Like in the, um, Torgus, is that like from the, the little like buying shop area? I was just unlocking some, uh, ex the water, yeah, nice. Uh, Queen Relish, the water boatman, we were swimming around in the pond. And I was I got really excited because we've seen them in the pond water specimens and they were doing like the same behaviors as what we saw like the living pond water specimens do. And so I was just I was silly excited. I was like, oh look, that's really well done. And like I didn't pause sufficiently to Keeping time. Why well, have I have not peeped any of these, have I? Gotta get them all. Um, to like see the the detailing on the animation, but it did look pretty good. Like just from as it was swinging past us and it like flipped, it was on its back and it was like, all right, you're doing the right thing, cool. I have been doing a terrible job with this peeping as well, Chad. I need to do better with that. Killed fifty of them. Oh my goodness. A weevil menace. <laughs> One of my lovely bases. <laughs> it's just like randomly here. What do we even have in this? Oh, there's some flower petals in here. Some... Oh, I have some berry slices? Oh, shoot. Hi, Misadventures in Astro. No, no, no. It's not that I'm allergic to sleep. It's I'm chasing a dream, Misadventures in Astro. I'm chasing a dream. And that dream comes at the price of sleep? That's okay. So, guys, please go follow Misadventures in Astro. Another science communicate whore here on Twitch. How you doing, Misadventures? <laughs> Fair enough. It's like, all right, all right, sure, sure. Let's see how much that did for us in terms of the berries. Ladybug shin guards. I did. I did eat dinner. See, we don't have enough berry leather yet. Uh, hmm. Berry chunk, we have three. Why can't it, why doesn't it do stuff? Can I take them? I did take them. Huh. Oh, maybe I need the workbench. That's okay. All right. I did eat dinner, KK. And even, la oh, you mean like last night night? That I did dinner done too. I already had dinner tonight, KK. I did not have it at like, I'm not going to have it at like four in the morning. That is not actually my preference.
Gotta go, though. Torgus, thank you for hanging out with us. I appreciate the heck out of you. And thank you for all the tips. I feel like we made some good progress tonight. Lab at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, okay. And you get to go home early, right? <laughs> thank you, Torgus. I wouldn't have been possible without your help, my friend. I feel like we're, I'm a little bit more confident at the game. Each time we play, it's like we get a little bit more confident. Lab manager's helping so we won't be alone, but you get to go home early, right, KK? No, we needed that secret room. That was a very important secret room. Because, Torgus, we got the raw science, right? Which will help us level up our brain power. And then we also figured out what we needed to do to get the uh, the boss brought to us. So, that was an important secret room to go to. Oh, 8 to 5, KK. I didn't realize that you don't work regular hours, man. KK is like, well, what are you talking about? You know this life all too well. I do, KK. It doesn't mean I approve. Yeah, oh, this, dude, the scanner is a game changer. That scanner was absolutely a game changer. Alright, save. We're still y'all playing the, the constant save game because... Let's, you know, let's, let's not, <laughs> not have that because that could be a, that could be a bad one if we're not. I can't get cocky and be like, oh, we have armor now, we're fine. The travel spreadsheet, which one? Queen Relish. Oh, wait, hold on. You mean like the, the work stuff, Queen Relish? Oh, good God, ma'am. Oh, good God. Sorry, I thought I thought it was like about the um, the recent or the future thing that no 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 it's it's, it's being relish it's, it's it's hilarious, um, because you know and May will be, May will be going to um, Georgia and Florida, so we'll be planning about you know various things that we should plan like do for IRL streaming. So that's. I'm thinking like Lita and I are gonna make a spreadsheet for that so we can track like what we're doing. But no, this, ma'am, it just got like, just it just it was awful. It was just like so much empty nonsense again today. And it was like most of my day on it. Also, the other thing, Corn Relic, today that was like frustrating is that we were supposed to have this like virtual welcome recorded for this con the conference coming up and we needed one person I don't, I don't know why but I was told they needed to do like a, a recording and like record a segment for it but I've had the recording done since December of everyone else like was there at the time there should have been and you know, that one person couldn't make it, so fine, we've scheduled it. And we rescheduled it multiple times, and it was finally going to be, like, happening today. Tadagos! Thank you for the lurk. Finally going to be happening, to, happening today. You know, Thursday. And in the morning, I get an email that they are not going to make it. And I was just like, alright. So finally, I was just like, you know, I, I made the executive decision that we're just, like, not going to have them be in here. Because it's just redonkulous at this point. Well, but it's also like, KK, it's like you make a big deal that you need to be part of this. Because you know, you're, like, you're like a higher up, right? Okay. But then you bo don't bother to actually show up and... Con yeah, it's just... Let's 
see. How do I switch to first person? Oh yeah, exactly, I can do it. I can do it. How are you doing, by the way? How did I switch? No, not peeping goggles. That was a hot key for switching, but I cannot remember now which one it was. I just it was the up button. Oh, here it is. Wasted too many arrows on that. There we go. Look at that. Uh, hoping, hoping I'll get playing some play game because suggest that it's cool. Yeah, yeah. No, I can do it. Absolutely. It's, it's on the menu for eventual playing. Uh, for right now, this is our, our game for game night. Because of like the insect genetics and the insect science behind it. Um, but we're, yeah, we're absolutely going to be playing other games too. Uh, I mean, the first games that we would play on game night were actually Sonic the Hedgehog. Because that's a gene in developmental biology and it's named after the video game character. And yeah, oh no, the play gink was actually um, Queen Relic. I've seen Risto play it, and it it hits very close to home. Where you're like, mm, I don't know, this feels a little too similar. And it's like, yeah, it does, it does. But it's like there's a lot of science behind it. Yeah, and it was made way before, uh, way before COVID. All right, we need to make it at our workbench. I think we now have enough berry to to take care of this and build the final weapon or final armor for us. So is that yeah? Uh, Queen relish our lucibufagens. Anyone need a light? Have I peeped these ones? I don't think so. So, at least this is my explanation for why these animals are able to launch stuff. Is that they're just shooting out the Lucibufagen. Which is meant to be like an immune protective predator, anti-predator something. And, yeah, that's what I assume that the fireflies are doing here. I feel like we need an emote with the Mario power-up sound as they get their Lucibufagens. What would be the emote, Queen Relish? Uh, would it be the Firefly? Okay, I see. Okay. I th hmm. I, I, yeah, I see it. I see it. Well, we have the Firefly. If you type exclamation point light... It'll trigger the firefly to dance. But I, I like where your head's at. Like, I wonder if we can do something where it's just a regular glowing butt and then it gets a lucibufagen. And then it just starts, like, that's when it starts pulsing color. I don't know. I feel like that's maybe, maybe too simple. But something like that could be fun, right? Okay, guys, give me one second. Let me go get a swig of water. I know we're closing in probably on the round end for tonight, but I'm going to get a little bit more water before we continue. Give me one second, chat. I'll be right back. Bye, my name is Halter. I'm friends. I eat today. I eat today. I eat today. I eat today. 
Oh, I hate this poop show. <laughs> Very sophisticated, yes. Mocha, one my <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Yogurt Girl! I see your butt. Well, that's for the that's for the, the Antonia butt wiggle, you know. That offspring can breed as well. And oh. <laughs> ah! Coffee! He cracks it then. <laughs> and it. Theo is amazing. Theo is so kind. There's no underpants worn by these animals. Every other name we go, you know, like the Thuggy, Jern, Barty, Jern, Claire, Jern. Uh, date night in, Jern. Big gaming, Jern. Jern, 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 Shirley, you must be thinking. There's something Australian. And don't call me Shirley. It's like, oh! Queen Relish, I love that you were thinking about Lucibufagens on your drive home. And also, because of you, that word has stuck much more in my head. Normally, it's one where I just... Like, I've learned the phrase. I know I've learned the phrase. But it never really stuck. And it's funny how the brain works, right? Of like, it took you being really excited about lucibuvagens, and now I'm like, oh, I'm all about this word now, and I'm okay with it. Like of us always talking about lucibuvagens, because it's like it's a great word, you know? It's like why not? We have all the lucibuvagens here. Oh no, no, listen, allegedly. Yeah, I mean it is probably allegedly, isn't it? Think about this for weeks, how there's no science people in my life. How does acid work in the stomach? My understanding of acid goes through everything. It, it really is, and I can do it honestly. When I started thinking about like acids, which is again, like it sounds kind of weird. Like, what do I sort of first think about acids? Um, I always, like, until I was in the lab, I was like, oh, they're green, right? Like, I always thought acids were green. And like, that's also not the case. You know what I mean, Queen Relish, though, right? Like, you'll see... Like, it's what, like, comes from, like, cartoons that you see, and then, like, it's so different in, like, the natural world, but you don't end up getting to see those elements because you just aren't exposed. Or, yeah, like, a mutagen. Oh, yeah. Even, even now, sometimes I'll think about, like... Because when you do mut mutagenic studies like on insects or what have you it just sounds like it's such a more aggressive behavioral thing that you're hitting them with there's the loose boofagens going everywhere queen relish but even that like originally they're just feeding them a small molecule and there was nothing unique about like yeah it was like not healthy for them but it wasn't glowing green or it wasn't like we should do a mutagenic deep dive. There's, because that was a, that's a cool thing to talk about, like past mutagenesis, right? Versus how they do mutagenesis now with turtles, frogs. I have because Queen Relish. There's a lot with frogs, right? Um, like that's one of the, that's a model organism studied. I don't know with turtles if there's anything been done. Makes people think things over reality. Like, my uncle is a real... <laughs> the nicest people we ever meet. People are scared of me. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. Napoleon Bonafrog. I mean, Queen Relish, if you would see. They probably primarily studied... Um, like, what's the point of studying a, a frog? It's primarily developmental biology. Because you can look at the embryo and see like well hold on what happened all those things fell down was there any point to that or did i just distribute some seeds or something i don't even know what the point of that was there must have been a point to that 
Like, you don't just add that animation in for nothing. I don't know, maybe you do. Also, love Kerbal Space Program, though, I was confused. I was, um... Very, very bad at physics. I can do it. I could not do it, actually. Um... I was so poor at physics that the professor sent me to, like, this learning specialist. There's another aphid. And the learning specialist's job was to, like, test me and teach, you know, like, of what kind of learner I am. And he ran some tests on me, and his consensus was, like, he told me this straight-faced, you just can't do this. And so then I, I went to the professor was like, well, what are the results? And I showed him the results of, like, what the guy wrote. And he's like, well... Like, you could see he was trying to backpedal, like, this went horribly wrong. This was not what was supposed to happen. Um, and he, so he's like, oh, we'll, we'll figure it out. And we, we never, we never figured it out. It was actually quite sad. I did, I did so much studying in, in physics... Like, especially Physics 2, and I made the exact same grade as I got in Physics 1, where I wasn't busting my butt. It was very frustrating. Oh my god, I can do it. You're not the... Yeah, in we had Physics in high school, and I never took it. I never took Physics in high school, because I was like, this sounds terrifying. I don't want to take Physics. And so my first Physics was in college probably less than ideal to do it like that to be totally honest with you um why did i do it that way because i really didn't want to take physics and then why did i end up taking it pre-med you needed it and then there was also um for the the masters because i did a, a masters and uh bachelors at the same time and you needed physics like that was one of the criteria that they wanted so Here's the dew drop. Don't go anywhere, water. That tastes really good. Bad at math. I was also, yeah, I mean, listen, I was the same way I can do it. I. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. Deposit. Yeah. Oh, it's already full. That's, that's what it is. My strong preference, I can do it, was anything non-mathematics, non which is kind of like, well, but it's science. You're supposed to be doing math and good at math. No, no, no. I was never good at the mathematics side of things. Turgus, welcome back. How are you doing, sir? Veritasium is a very good video on learning styles and how they're really a myth. This guy, Turgus, this dude was just like, you just are bad you just can't learn <laughs> and it was it was you know when you're trying to actually learn and you're you're putting in like a, a pretty valiant effort like it's kind of frustrating to be like oh kid you're just stupid like, all right well crow feather pieces yes like i didn't think i was that stupid i guess they had different uh, different thoughts right uh, let's make some. All right, let's let's see if we can make these knee pads now, chat. Soothing syrup, Ooh, delicious. What is it? Oh, it heals you. Okay, I was like, what does this do? Uh... We work. I mean, Turgus, the the specialist who was like, I have a PhD in this. Like, so he already came across as, like, like, that's what I really hate when people are, like, who have higher order degrees make themselves seem like they're actually better than you only because they have that degree, right? And that's, I feel like, always been really off-putting for me and why I feel like people don't trust scientists is because there are those scientists that are like, hey... Because I have a degree, you should trust everything I say. Safety first. No, 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 no. 
Guys, we got the knee pads. We are now totally maxed out on the uh, the ladybugs, which I think is excellent. Degrees are going to be too crazy to become more and more scanned. If you're in 20 years, you're going to have... I can do it. I think that there are absolutely degrees like that. However, I think, like, getting a doctorate is still really... Like, especially for us, right? Like, my dream is to be a science communicator, right? Full-time here on Twitch. I think... I don't think you need a PhD to be a good science communicator, but it sure freaking helps. Because at least it means you've had the training. So when you start talking about things... Like, there's almost a certain level of... authority that you can speak with on these on these points like there's you have the knowledge foundation to talk about these things uh, again it's not to say you can't get it on your own like without a piece of paper it's just a nice bit of credibility now again like you said there's probably degrees out there that are <sighs> so niche that you know they would make you very good at that one thing and then it, it probably won't prepare you for the world on that oh oh well yeah i can do it. there that that whole system is broken right hello faceless coward first time chatterer hi Ooh, faceless coward do you want to meet our kitty cat this is socks this is socks She's not pleased. She is not pleased because she would like dinner. She gets hangry. She and Noodle. This is. I think this is why she and she's my best, and so is Noodle. I think because they both are so similar, and she likes to scold me. <laughs> so does Noodle. Um, so we have faceless coward at the house. We have five cats. I know my wife and I. We. We like animals a lot. This one we just rescued a few months, like two months? No. Month and a half ago? Um, our daughter also really likes them. Our daughter just turned one. But they're very silly cats and they're very different personalities. But this one is very much like Noodle, who is my first, first pet. Noodle's like, oh, how old is she is now? 13 good god that's my best friend and uh she 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 scolds me like that too when she gets angry but the other cats are like very respectful so i think it's just like uh yeah very different vibes that you get from the different animals you know watching a video about athletes and why they get themselves angry before they play it turns out short term best motivation is angry if you're angry about it made up i can i see that i can do it when i was a swimmer that definitely helped. Definitely, definitely helped. Really good Veritasium video of this really well-known physics professor calling another video of his a lie. And they bet 10 grand, something like they proving each other wrong. It's really good video. Nice. Turgus, have you actually... Um, There's another one, Turgus, that was... Like, Hi, Uncle Bill. My goodness, Uncle Bill is here. Celebrity in his house. Uncle Bill, how you doing? Turgus, there's this... um. This was, it was a really big movement a couple of years ago called Fake It Till You Make It. Where it was like, uh, and it was a big TED talk. It was like a big piece of news about the science of pretending that you are like a big shot. And like body size perception, like of like making yourself bigger before a meeting and like all like like prematurely asserting your dominance like in a reflection like it was all this kind of stuff like to get this kind of motivation and like how the hormones work and it turned out like you know a lot of people like were pushing that rpi our, our professor at the time was just like all about this he's like that's what we have to do is just fake it till you make it and then it turned out that was all made up and there's like all this like extra stuff on like how fake it till you make it like does not work and yeah, it's a, it's a whole series of things on there. Oh, that's, that's, 
that'll do, right? Um, chat, so question for you. I would like to try one more thing tonight. There is this mixer. No, we probably shouldn't try the mixer thing, right? Now that we're all armored out, we probably are not. So probably not good enough to survive that kind of mixer hit, you know? Hi, Queen Kyle. How was the rest of your stream, madam? Kyle, y'all, is pushing for partner. It was an amazing stream you had tonight, ma'am. And you were crushing it, just, just so you know. Just so you know, Queen Kyle. Guys, go check out Queen Kyle. She is a legendary food and drink streamer. Extraordinary. She just finished her stream. Like, what? I had you tabbed up. Oh, you went to Chef Mauziu. Chef Mauziu. That seems like a cool place to go, Queen Kyle. I do not know this chef. Is this an interesting chef? Is this a good person? I have no idea who this person is. I've never met this before. Uh, the guys, go follow Kyle. She is a food and drink streamer extraordinaire, one of the nicest people in the world. Uh, she is on that partner push, and she's getting very close. Um, how close are we, Kyle, if I may ask? And you don't have to actually tell us. You can just be up and knock it off. I don't want to talk about it. But like, all right, Queen Kyle. You don't have to. We don't have to talk about it, Queen Kyle. We don't have to talk about it. You used to do the podcast with Rusty, Chef Steve, and Zoo. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I know all those people, so it must be pretty decent. Kyle, we're, um, we got a bunch of new armor and new weapons and, like, unlocked a couple of areas today in playing Grounded. We also talked about how, um, the mosquitoes have body parts missing, which is kind of neat to, like, be like, oh, yeah, here's the things that are a little bit off in the game. Education stream on philosophy, those kind of talks in there, it came they, it, I mean, it depends. I can do it on how many people are there as well. Within a week. Ooh. Heck yeah, ma'am. Crushing it. Queen Kyle. Excellent, ma'am. Very, very excellent. I'm looking I'm looking forward to when uh I'm looking forward to when in the, the, the cat the morning cat pictures I can just post Kyle is partner. And not having to put Kyle for partner anymore. We've been, I've been posting with that hashtag, man, for like a while now. I think even before you said that you had, were on a push, I think I was like, decide, decided that you were going to do a push. No, no, how dare, how dare Queen Kyle. Uh-uh, no ma'am, no ma'am. Oh, Queen Kyle. Is David Blaine on him? Breaking the world record, holding your breath, the science behind it. Several doctors said he would be brain dead seven minutes. Hell, oh, I need to check that one out. I haven't seen that one. It has to be good. I hope so, Kyle. I just want you to be successful at everything you do, ma'am. Still no word for us for the Ambassador Pooj, but maybe... Well, I mean, I, I have no idea. I can dream, Kyle. Maybe it's all dependent on you. Like, when, once you submit partner, there's too many ants here, y'all. What am I doing? Shows how sound works. Oh, yeah. It's, it's really, really cool. Absolutely. Yeah, I... Listen, Kyle. I'm waiting for the day that we get into that plus program. So we can make some extra coin. And uh, ambassador, and then I can do the day job. I still will do consulting, because I really like the consulting that we do. And it's on brand, right? Science for a company, like that's a good, it's a, it's a good gig to have, even though it's not a lot of coin. It's like some extra stuff, it gets your name out there. I like that. But I think it'll be so freaking cool to be able to do this the full time. I mean, it's like already, I was just thinking yesterday, like, Kyle, we did over eight hours yesterday, you know? Eight hours plus yesterday, and then I had a full, like, work day. And I had, like, some consulting stuff yesterday, too. Which we sub actually had some today, too. We submitted, like, that consulting doc they wanted. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh. 
Y'all, this armor is so much better. We got the ladybug armor, Kyle. And it is <laughs> incredible. Which announcement tweet, Kyle? We got that, like, achievements that were unlocked, which was really cool the other day. Actually, Kyle, that's a great question. Insects on the inside um, are, like, clear-colored. When you squish something, like a fruit fly, if it's red, that's its eye pigment. That that's not the blood. Over there. And so I think that's always, like, a... A misknown kind of thing, you know, like what exactly that is. I just want to harvest you, soldier. Alright, now we run. Yeah, Kyle, we got those two, like the thousand... Thousand watched hours total, and then also, or no, a thousand people at once, and two hundred fifty thousand watched hours. It's like some absurd amount of time. No, apparently, so the higher armor, apparently, the highest armor is the ladybug, and if you complete the whole set, it maxes your armor even better. It is, and it's actually, it makes sense, Kyle. Like, I, you know, I kind of wanted it to be the ant armor was, like, the most potent. But for a beetle, the outside layer of the beetle shell, which is what we're looking at here, that's not what they breathe through. Versus, like, ants breathe through their exoskeleton. So even though the, like, the ant armor is really powerful. Oh, yikes, y'all, I'm stuck. So even though, like, it would be cool, there's, um, a lot of features of it that make it so it's not, Le oh, there is a level 3 armor, okay, gotcha, Turgus has been helping us a lot, Kyle, Kyle, he's supposed to be in bed, poor Turgus, but he's just, like, blunt, he's been the one, like, guiding us through this entire time of, like, being the one reason why we're still surviving and like we found like a bunch of secret areas tonight and yeah it's, it's been a, a lot a lot of fun lay on the couch on my laying on my couch on my phone falling asleep no Turkish get in bed Takes anything positive for the environment. So those are really difficult questions I can do it. Because a lot of what they like the annoying quote unquote insects in our lives are food for something or honestly like the cordyceps fungus, which we know kills insects and other creatures. It's been said like that's great for population management of those animals. And so like what keeps uh other critters from overpopulating is why that you want something like that. It's, you know, is that a good reason? I mean, it is from an ecology perspective, but it can be difficult to accept that. Usually food sources is the biggest one for them. I could have sworn y'all that that mixer was around here. definitely too far north. Let's look over here. Yeah, I can, I mean, they are definitely an interesting species. I don't, I haven't seen any ticks in the game yet. We've seen some mites. You know, other irritating uh, bugs, but oh no, I'm hungry. Let's quickly have her eat. <laughs> Oops. See, where is this? Do we have a roast? There we go. Let's play dunk the spider. The spooter. Right, 
not here as well. Where the heck is that? I mean, we're probably still under power, to be totally honest, to be able to take that part out. But I kind of wanted to see, with all these new, like, weapons and armor, if we're at an any better position. Like, how far are we from being able to... To fight. Foundation is the key to performance. But let's see in this la like last little part. If we can't find it, I'll go back to the base. We'll save, and then we'll probably raid out for the evening. <laughs> Spore, so I can do it. We've played Spore before. Um, it is on Steam, and we talked about evolution when playing it. Professor Canuck, how are you still awake, sir? Professor Canuck, you and I might have some problems, sir. Are you still awake, Astro? Astro, you need to get some good sleep, my friend. As, <laughs> as I'm like, oh yeah, I'm still awake. I know, Professor. I know. Is that really? <sighs> All right. Let's just go back to the base, y'all. We'll save and then we'll raid out. Cause it. Oh, it's three twelve in the morning. I have work in the morning. It is, yeah, it's very cool. It's a great game. I can do it. I had a lot of fun playing that. I, I didn't get to play it originally, so it was really cool to be able to play again. Alright, we need another... I, Astro, I am just so tired of it, man. There's like all these things that need to be done that doesn't make any, that don't make any sense. Like I'm, I'm being a. Oh God, I'm essentially being a tax lawyer and an accountant stuff. Like cause I'm doing all these things. I'm like, I'm not even, I'm not even. I wasn't even hired to do this kind of stuff. What are we doing here, chat? Like, it's like no, thank you. I don't, it's like, I don't enjoy this. Why are we doing this? There we go. Anything we need to analyze? I think we're sad on that. Nope, nothing to analyze. So let's, let's save. Save here. 